morning. Good morning. It's a good morning. I'm feeling much better today. Turns out, I just needed a lot of sleep. And... Yeah, that's about it. I just needed to sleep. <laughs> Hooray! I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I got a l not nausea, so thankfully nausea has passed. We're good. Now I'm just dehydrated, so I'm gonna be drinking a lot of water. Let's go. Yeah, Gary, sleep real good. Sleep is excellent. Was it two minutes till noon where I am? Dang. Oh, that makes sense, actually. Time zones are funky like that. Time zones are weird. Hydrate or dehydrate? Exactly, Plug Bear. Exactly. I haven't seen what you've done. But I'm curious. I'm curious. You said you would do something once stream started. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Alright. Curious. Hydrate breakfast? Yep. Told me pancakes because she woke up earlier than me. She always does. And they were pretty good. I didn't have too much because I was worried if I ate too much. Then the tummy ache will come back. But, made sure to eat some. I still have snacks. I got water. If I get hungry, I'm gonna go grab some more. This is this is a self-care stream today. If Joe Jet, oh no. Oh gosh. Alright. Yep. Yep. Oh. <laughs> That's too accurate for Lug Bear. That's too accurate. How dare you? It's just me sitting on a chair and everything's on fire around me. This is fine. Ten minutes before stream, this is fine. Yep. Yep. Talk I just had leftover spaghetti for breakfast. Life is good. Spaghetti's quite good. Spaghetti's quite good. I think, it, it, I think it's a fine breakfast. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Mopo, thank you for the 200 shinies. Also, happy 26 months, Mopo. Welcome on back. See, the song redeems not actors today, so I don't know if I'd cast this, but on the other, the other day was my birthday, so I was wondering if you could sing a happy birthday song. Yeah, I could totally do that. Just like last year and the year before that, and it's becoming a tradition. <laughs> well, who am I to argue with such a kind and just a sweet tradition? What the heck? But yeah, Meta, I plugged in my phone. Thank you for reminding me. And the cooler is going on. Yes, it is. Excellent. Honey, is that coat snug enough? It's so snuggly. It's so snuggly. I love it. I love it a lot. Ooh. Just a little bit of stretching and... Ooh. Back is almost better. Let's go. We're, we're on the mend. Estroma, thank you for the posture check. And Beanzucky, thank you for the head pads. Oh, it broke. Oh, of course, I tested. That was the one thing I forgot to test during stream- before stream. I got nervous because someone said, Oh, you forgot something, honey. And I'm like, what did I forget? What did I do? Right. We try. Alright, let's try that again. Let's see. Does it work? Yeah, there we go. Live 2 items are a little weird. Or, uh, v v VTS items are a little weird. That's okay. We make do. The pads are too strong! You're breaking me. You're breaking my model. I worked so hard. Oh, Amanda, thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> I'm very bad at drinking water. I drank it and then spat some of it out. It's on my desk now. Okay. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm good. Look, she forgot. I forget a lot of things. It's it's become a bit of a habit, unfortunately, of forgetting. Morning, Kathy. Well, if you knew what you have forgotten, then you wouldn't have forgotten in the first place, right? Exactly. It's like that silly little gift I think Neville gets. Like, it's a forget cube. It turns red when you forget something. It's like, cool, I didn't remember what I'd forgotten. Thanks. Oh, Estroma, thank you for the breather, Dean. Impact, thank you for the earwickles. <laughs> 
Tapford is close since the owner is sick. Yeah, we're just... We're, we're bringing out the healing power of nature by drawing flowers. Yep. That's what we're going to be doing. Is he called it a wizard, wizard stress bomb? Yeah, mine would be permanently red because I'm always forgetting something. It's so easy to forget things. It's so easy to forget things. <sighs> Sexy T-Rex, thank you for wasting your gold. I'll put it under my couch. Little stretch. I saw that, McBo. You could have let the hype train go. You could have let it go. It would have been fine. <laughs> but it's still going. Neko, good morning. I forgot about our last nice talk. No. No, it was very nice. You said some very nice things. Very, very kind things that I'm not inclined to forget. It was a beautiful episode. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you appreciate how much effort went into this look. <laughs> First, with all this gold, are you gonna buy a bigger couch, stuff more gold under it? It's just gonna be couches on top of more couches, so I can have more things to shove under the couches. Feeling better? Yeah. Good news. I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, thankfully, getting a lot of sleep and having a small breakfast with a lot of water helped. So. Feeling a lot better. Still gonna take it easy, just in case. Because you never know. But I'm feeling a lot more confident in my ability to stream right now. I'm, I got a little more energy. Feeling a little better. I have snacks. So we're good. Good. We're good. Or take care. You forget that a lot? I do. That's the thing I forget a lot, is to take care. It's just so, so easy to keep going and, and, and keep doing art. Even when you're a little bit- a little ill. <laughs> Just a little ill. You watch Demon Slayer? Yeah, I've watched Demon Slayer. I am caught up, currently. So. It's very good. I think there's... Three more arcs left? I haven't read it, but I've heard there's three more- two to three more arcs left. A couch with bags of, of holding for cushions? <gasps> Genius. Genius. That is actually a real smart idea. Ooh. Ouch, with with little pocket dimension in it. Have a dirt. Need to catch up. Don't worry, Gary. Take it at your own pace. There's so much anime to watch. I think I I think <laughs> yeah, like I literally got suggested this morning. Like just as I woke up, I think it was Jumpster who was suggesting an anime, and and Jumpster was saying like how my happy marriage is real adorable, and I was like, <gasps> wholesome goodness. Maybe I will add another one to the watch list. <laughs> add it to the thousands of things I'm supposed to be watching. I still gotta watch Bochi. I still gotta watch, uh... Ra -ra? Do -do -ra -ra -ra. Yeah, that one. Right? Yeah, Gary, right? There's so many. Like, I'm gonna gift code for Rubber Hammer to use in case you don't take care of yourself. <sighs> okay. Cove can tell. Cove can tell when I'm not taking care of myself because then she's taking care of me. It's it's quite easy to tell. A billion dreams. Thank you for wasting your gold. Thank you very much. It's going into my couch. Do do rah rah rah. Bochi is so good. I've heard it's real good. My mods keep telling me it's amazing, and I have not watched it yet. Yeah, yeah. Guy's got a list for me. Yeah, yeah. That snapped away. No. There he goes. <laughs> I gotta take another sip of water. Oh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Yep, I'm caught up on Jujutsu Kaisen currently. It's more gold than couch at this point? Yep. Yep, it's starting to leak out. At this point, to read all the books and manga to watch on all the mo movies and anime and the games on my list, I need to live 3,000 years old. Yep. At this point, just gotta be selective. Just go, this ain't my genre. I might try it. <laughs> but... No point in trying to keep up with every single piece of media that's ever come out, ever. Just not possible. Not possible to to take in that many stories. Woo. Good dear. Fun fact of the day. It's a rainforest in Puerto Rico called El Yunque. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's the home of one of the cutest frogs ever, the Koki. Pronounce Koki, yeah. They make this. They're called this because it's the sound they make. Oh, that's so cute! 
sing a beautiful song at night. It's a life-changing experience. That's such a cute... Koki. Koki. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <clears throat> Being a Jujutsu Kaisen is important. Yeah! Gojo's in Fortnite. You you could be the 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 hot blindfolded anime man and make him dance in Fortnite. <laughs> what what are they gonna collab with next? Have they they've already done One Piece, right? They've already done One Piece. They've done Dragon Ball Two. Uh, have they done Attack on Titan? They done Naruto. Yep, Kakashi. <laughs> Wild seeing Kakashi. And Sasuke in there. Fortnite's a weird, weird game. Not a One Piece collab yet? Oh, they did The Witcher? I didn't hear about that one. I didn't hear about that one. One Punch Man? Have I seen Saitama around? Here, I would weep for One Piece Fortnite collab. Oh, they, they have a huge opportunity with Gear 5. They got a real good opportunity with that one. Cove stands for Care Operator for Vague Emergencies. <laughs> I'm sure she would uh, disagree. <laughs> They've done even Gillian McBow! <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get your happy birthday song. Don't worry about it, it's okay. Jeez, that's a lot. Oh gosh. Let me, let me pull out the activity fee real quick. My activity feed hasn't reset yet. Uh, there we go. Phew. Okay. Got it. We've done Naruto, Dragon Ball, My Hero, and Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, My Hero! That was the, only, the other one. Yeah. Vidal, I'm feeling a lot better. Taking it easy. Less nauseous now. Feeling good. So we're gonna do some art again. We're gonna relax. Take it easy, just in case. Want a Fortnite honey skin? <laughs> but not a skin, just honey in a backpack. <laughs> Little, little gremlin. <laughs> That'd be fun. Love it, you're Zerdor. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah, it's art day today. We're gonna do art. We're gonna relax and take it easy. Woo. a dark cloud. Thank you for the reset. Happy 19 months. Welcome on back. Another month of sweetest cop around. <laughs> Started off with a compliment. You caught me off guard. <laughs> Another month of the sweetest goblin there is. Keep up the amazing work, you adorable gobbo. Thank you, Dark Cloud. Thank you. Uh, keep going, keep going. Plug Bear, thank you for the hundred shinies. I have a refresher word and a proper word for Mohawk. Word of the stream. Word of the stream is... Yahunta, which means field. Ooh. Also want to see who remembers what Ojista means. Remember to tell the goblin she's cute. Uh, is, is that Grandma? Grandpa? Maybe? <laughs> Maybe? And my boat, thank you for the resub again. TK Squid, thank you for the five gifted subs. And Chainsaw Cannon, that is a cool name. Thank you for the sub with Prime. Welcome on into the tavern. My boat, thank you for the five gifted subs. And DS Colossus, thank you for the five gifted subs. Big Bo, thank you for the 200 shinies. And Big Bo, thank you for another four gifted. Jeez, Big Bo, it's your birthday. I gotta be singing for you. You know? You don't gotta be giving gifts on your birthday. Ag, thank you for the resub. Happy six months. This is my message. Ah. Ah. <laughs> why, did it, why did I try to mimic this the sound clip? <laughs> Marshmallow Mountain, thank you for the resub. Happy anniversary to ya. I hope you're having a good one. Welcome home back. Muriak, thank you for the five gifted subs. Chief Gardener. Thank you. Thank you for 175 shinies. Hey everyone, you all, you all okay? And honey, you're so cute and beautiful. Shh, 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Pardon. <laughs> yeah, Gary, it's McBo's birthday. McBo has kindly asked for a little happy birthday song, and I will sing it just in a moment. But McBo is being a kind of little bit generous. No, Bard. <laughs> ah! It's okay. Silver Kitsune, thank you for the reset. Happy 13 months, welcome back. 13 months of comfy goblin vibes. 
We're gonna be cozy today. We're gonna be real cozy today. It'll be fun. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna get a lot of work done, but it'll be relaxing at the same time. And McBo, thank you for another 10 gifted subs. Isaacs, thank you for the gifted sub. McBo, thank you for the 100 shinies. Streaming is the gift for me, but then why are you gift? <laughs> I already... My gift is the birthday song. What do you mean? What do you mean? Calamari, thank you for the gifted sub. And Bard, thank you for the five gifted subs. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Jasper, good morning. Happy I forgot how to read. <laughs> Give me a sec, I forgot how to read. <laughs> Thank you for the hundred shinies. Jasper says, Hello. This is a public service announcement to remind you, honey, Ryan, honey, that she is cute. You see, honey's schedule is always super busy, so she doesn't have time to remember. Bless her adorable little gobble heart. So be sure to spam honey with the unyielding amounts of love and compliments to compensate for the lack of free time in her schedule. Never let honey forget that she is cute. Okay, I just for right now. You already do that, though. Y'all already do that. Without prompting. It's very kind, and it's very, very gentle and nice to me. Thank you. Panzer, thank you for the gifted sub. And Mipo, thank you for the gifted sub to Mithrinir and Game Like Kid. Thank you very much. <sighs> Argo, welcome on in. I hope we're doing well. We're just, uh, we're just saying hello. I'm saying thank you for, for everyone being incredibly generous. Because to, to me, I, I, I want to make sure I say thank you to everyone who does give very generously because that's insane. That's incredible to me. Keep it going. It's already level 9. It's already a level 9. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Ooh. Never stop. What is that song? There's a song specific- that, that that phrase activated a song in my brain and I cannot remember what it is now. Maybe and I just showered away an anxiety attack. How's everyone today? Good! I'm glad you could shower away your anxiety. That's amazing. I'm very glad that it's- it's- it, you could find a solution for it. Honestly, anxiety sucks. Ooh, but hun, McBo wanna see a level time. McBo's gonna get a birthday song! <laughs> ah! I just woke up. I just had a pancake. Lord Leon, thank you for the 5,000 shinies. That is a lot. That is a lot of money. Thank you very much. <sighs> I Hi, Shardinola. Good morning. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I'm, 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 I'm thinking of singing a little birthday song to distract myself from, from, what, from what's going on right now. Tommy Takedown, thank you for the 500 shinies. Thank you very much. <sighs> We gotta keep it going. Keep going for full stream. Too sweet to be sour. Too nice to be. <laughs> ah! It's fine. Is it? It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday. Prime wins. It is not my birthday. This is a regular Saturday. It is McBo's birthday. So McBo's getting a birthday song. Stroma, thank you for the hydrate. I'm just trying to calm down before I do it. Let me take a little sip. Got my little pink tumbler out again. <laughs> nice. McBo, thank you for the gifted sub. <gasps> thank you for the gifted sub to the prime of wind. And Vina, thank you for the resub. Happy 17 months. Valak, thank you for the resub with Prime. Happy four months. Welcome on back. Just wanted to let you know you're cute. It's not a birthday stream! <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can celebrate McBo's birthday, though, on stream. We can do that. Do a little party. Do a little dance. Happy birthday to everyone's birthday today. Yeah! Happy birthday to birthday people today. Repays, thank you for the 200 shinies. And Chief Gardener, thank you for the 100 shinies. It's all, We hit level 10. We hit level 10. That's that's a lot. Ah! <laughs> there wasn't a sneeze incoming, there was a yawn incoming. Excuse me. Yeah, you made me yawn now. I would say no head pats. Maybe, maybe, maybe a couple for. Uh, it's not my birthday. It is not my birthday. My birthday is in April. It's how long has it been? June, July. Uh, it's been about four. 
three, four months since my birthday. My birthday already passed. It's coming back around, but it's not here yet. <sighs> Lord Leon, thank you for the 5,000 shinies. Another for my yesterday birthday. Happy belated birthday. Um, <laughs> so much is happening at once. So much is happening at once. Hi, Nisego. How are you today? How are you doing? I hope you're having a lovely day. Jeez, how is... I'm assuming it was art. Am I wrong to assume it was art today? It's comfy time. I was feeling a bit sick yesterday, but feeling a lot better now. I rested more, started stream a little bit late to make sure I got some food in me. We're feeling pretty good. Still gonna treat myself real gently. But, feeling much better, thankfully. Whew. But welcome on in, Raiders! Pleasure to meet all y'all. How are you doing? How was the stream? I hope it was fun. You came from... <laughs> came from what art stream to another. We're about to start art. I'm just I'm just letting, for this, letting this hype train go. And then I'm gonna sing happy birthday. And then we're gonna go. It's not my birthday, though. It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday! My birthday is April! Oh, it's a wild for stream. Indeed. Welcome on in, Ify. This is an interesting time to jump in. <laughs> work out some honey art? <gasps> That's amazing. Wild. I hope it's fun to draw. I hope it's fun to draw. Oh, well. <laughs> it ain't my birthday! <laughs> I appreciate the happy birthdays. Wrong month. Good try. Good try. I appreciate the enthusiasm. It's McBow's birthday today. And you say, go, thank you for the gift. It's up to happy birthday. <laughs> I have to accept it now at this point. Like, bro, thank you for the 200 Chinese. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. I've watched you while <laughs> watching your streams while I draw. Oh, nice. We can draw together, Archangel. We can be drawn buddies. <sighs> Merry Christmas, Hunt. We calendars mean nothing to you. Time means nothing to y'all. On Twitch.tv, time is nothing. Belated D cigarette. Hey, Mage! How's it going? How are you doing, Mage Vivica? Let me jump jump. Yeah, I think I spelled that right. Yes! I was Doom. I hope you had a fun time doing Doom. Yes, Colossus, thank you for the thousand shinies. And PC Viking, thank you for the 200. Wolf, happy Easter, honey. It ain't even right season. It's closer, though. It's closer. <laughs> it's August. It is summer. We're in the middle of summer. It's hot. It's hot. It ain't Easter. It's summer ween. Actually, I would legitimately love to celebrate summer ween. Like a little pre-Halloween. That sounds pretty cool. The dance of the dinos. Is that is it the season for that? Labor is coming up. Merry Birthmas! <laughs> Gary, pre-game Halloween time. Exactly! That- that's really what Ren Fairs and, con and cons are for. It's so you can dress up before Halloween. You can test your outfits and see if you want to be that for Halloween. Because that's- that's quite a commitment. Dressing up real big. What am I gonna be for Halloween this year, actually? Ooh. Hmm. I don't know. The past two Halloweens I haven't really celebrated much because I, I, I just stayed inside <laughs> and wore a costume and watched movies. April 2nd is the Southern Hemisphere, so birthday. That's how dates work. That's not how that dates work. You're lying. You're... Mods are gaslighting me. <laughs> Pre-ween. Summerween. Who needs coffee when you have Twitch chat? Shot of adrenaline straight to the heart. I have a slowpoke onesie that's calling me for Halloween. <gasps> that sounds so cute. That sounds adorable. Ah, oh, I want a girl onesie. <gasps> Do I? Have to... Ooh, I have to check and see if I have a Pikachu onesie. Oh, that could be a real cute. That could be real cute. It's April second, some multiverse. In some multiverse, where the cal calendars are misaligned, it may be my birthday. Jasper, thank you for the hundred shinies. Happy New Year. Let's go. <laughs> We're dealing with entirely different dates now. 
It's not my birthday. It's an unbirthday. Well, you know what? I'll accept that it's an unbirthday. You see, you always come up with the most awesome combinations. I'm never gonna stop drawing it, honey's at this point. <laughs> I'm so excited for the next model. Ooh, it's designed, it's drawn. I'm just finishing up cutting now. And then I get to do rigging. <gasps> After Gabby's model, I'm gonna do rigging. Ah! It's April in Florida? You lie. You lie. I... D that can't be a thing. No, that's not right. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so excited, Nisego. I've learned so many rigging tricks, so it should make rigging so much faster. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Debut goal is currently in the fall. So, probably not September, though. Sept September is... No. <laughs> a little too soon. Oh, Happy slappies. A little bit. Just a little bit. As a Floridian, I can't confirm. It is April. <laughs> Luigi Saki, thank you for the posture check. I'm gonna stretch. I'm gonna stretch all this out. Wake you up when September ends. <laughs> no, that's not how that song. I think I'm thinking of a, a, a like a Beyond the Horizon song or something. I'm gonna have a couple AAA batteries. I need some AAA batteries real quick. Uh, I'd be under my couch. I'll check later. <laughs> all right. We're stretching. We're taking it easy. They lie. It's January in Florida. I don't know what goes on in Florida. It's a strange place. I dare not enter. I've been there once, actually. It's not that bad. There's a lot of fields and crocs. I walked into a store and they sold, like... <laughs> the, I think this was... I, I went to... I went to Disney World at one point. Now I remember driving by uh, a shop that had gator heads in jars. Can't say I've seen that one. Can't say I've seen that one before, but you know, you know, don't judge other cultures. I don't live there. Arthur, thank you for the breather, Dean. Gladys, I identify as in April, so yes, happy birthday, honey. Who am I to argue with you on that one? <laughs> Meta, thank you for the 100 Chinese. Happy Tuesday? Close enough. I'll accept that one. I'll accept it. Bird! Happy Chinese New Year. Thank you for the 100 Chinese. Uh, <laughs> my brain instantly went, try to say it in Chinese, and I'm like, no, I'm gonna butcher that. That I am going to offend someone if I try to say that in Chinese. <laughs> I remember my school taught me how to say it in Chinese, and it was the one thing they taught us about Chinese New Year, aside from the Zodiac animals, and I'm like, I feel like I shouldn't say this. This don't feel right. <laughs> oh, PC Viking, thank you for the hundred shinies. Have a happy Saturnalia? When's Saturnalia? I, I don't know. <sighs> All right, we can, we can take a breath. We can take a breather. Make both, thank you for the hundred shinies. Not really a fan of fall. Part of when you go fast is fine, but I always hurt myself in the part where I hit the ground. Neko gonna be playing more Palia at first. A kiss to make you feel better. <gasps> Thank you for the kisses. Gonna still be lurking around watching you draw that background or something else. Let's go! Have a, have a good time playing Palia. <laughs> Loving the subathon, honey. Can't believe it's been three weeks already. Okay. <laughs> it, I'm just that freaking Kung Fu Panda meme where it's just Poe looking confused and, and Master. <laughs> And his master just floating in midair while the background's spinning. That's me right now. I'm like, what year is this? Where are we? Where am I? Remember, careful with too much flowers. I'll be careful, but like... I'll show y'all in a sec. I'll show y'all in a sec. And you'll see what Neko means by too many flowers. But first, before I forget, I don't know what year it is it, any it is anymore, but I know that McBow's birthday was yesterday. So, let's, let's turn off the music. Oh. Don't mute me. Don't mute yourself. Don't mute yourself. You just wanted to turn off music. Focus mode. 
Let's see. I mean, <laughs> do I need to pull out lyrics for happy birthday? <laughs> no, we're good. Yep, I remember happy birthday. Don't judge. My brain is a little fried right now. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, McBow. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Happy birthday, McBow. You're sick on your birthday? I am going to scream. <laughs> I'm sick on McBow's birthday. Not on my own. I wouldn't actually mind if I was sick on my birthday. It would suck, but that's okay. I'll just sleep it off. Now in Link to a Birthday Song, I wrote the Chinese lyrics. I do not know Chinese. I, 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 I already struggle enough with English. English is difficult. Someone say fried brains? Me. My brains are white. Sufficiently cooked. Just seasoned to perfection. What am I talking about? What am I saying? Let's get to art. We're we're going to do art. Get back here. Merry Hanukkah, honey. Can't believe it's almost 2027. Wait, that's in five years. It is almost 2027. You threw me for a loop there. Now time for Latin. Happy birthday. I end stream. Good day. Good day to you, sir. Ooh. <clears throat> let me get some coffee music. Coffee music. Also, let me know if it's too loud. 100%. So four years and now five, huh? Time is messing with me. It's only three years, honey. Wait, what? What? This is 2023. Yeah, it's 2023. 24. 25. 26. 27. Oh, that's four years. Oh, that's four years. I cannot count. <laughs> I should be able to count. I was so good. I used to take calculus. What happened? What happened? Stop confusing the god. 2027 was last year. Please. Please. The IRS is going to come for me if I start paying the wrong year of taxes. Let's take a look at this. Happy birthday, though. Thanks, Quest. Wait. It's not my birthday. Ah. My bow, thank you for the hundred shinies. Thank you, honey. This made me a very happy bow. I'm glad. Glad I could do that for you. Whew. Neko, honey can no longer count. She can no longer read. We need to take care of her. I'm taking care of me this time. But we're going to be animating these purple flowers. They're so pretty. Did I give myself too much work? Perhaps. But is it gonna look beautiful when it's done? Yeah, and I think that makes it worth it. I think that makes it worth it. I thought we're good at counting. No, you're thinking of, um, I think you're thinking of uh, dwarves. Dwarves are pretty good at counting. They need to know how much metal is, ne is necessary for making things. Not all of them though. I'm sure there are some good goblins who are good at counting, like Justa. Just as a business goblin. I'm, I'm sure he knows how to count. Otherwise, his business may be very much flagged. Um, so, but he's, at, he's not in jail now, so... He's probably doing something, right? <gasps> Hi, Sun! How are you? Oh, that reminds me. Uh, guy, we actually have to update Sun's um, Twitch because Sun changed their username to Yura Sun. Cute. Cute. I hope you're doing well. Sun's extra short now, exactly. Extra pocket sized. But yeah, we did the little bit of the we we finished up the rough animation for the paper, the grass. The the grass up here is really rough, but we're gonna keep it that way. Don't wanna make it too detailed. And then we're gonna make these ones move today. And probably the other side too, because I may be a little bit of a masochist. <laughs> Both. Thank you for the gift and stuff to Thanos and to Sun. 
Plus, it's your son, my son. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. Eyes are great. Son's art is actually gorgeous, and the speed at which they draw is insane. So, 100%, if you want to look at someone who is incredibly fast at drawing and incre has an incredibly cute, fun, light style, take out son. Take out son. No you, no son. This, <laughs> this is my stream. I get to compliment you when you're on in my chat. Ho ho ho. Joke's on you, you walked into this. Get his ass, let's go! I love my friends. Don't think you're immune from this either, Gary. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Speaking of Gary, Gary is absolutely such a sweetheart. Very wonderful. Very kind. Always willing to help us out. Especially when I have silly questions about tech. Gary is very kind about it. And very patient. And I appreciate that. <laughs> I lend him. Ooh, son is powerful and handsome. <gasps> the handsomest little bean. The handsomest little fella. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's we're gonna we're gonna key this out so that there's two frames in between. Okay. This is probably gonna be Ugh, eight frames. Ugh, eight drawings. Okay, you know what? I can do this. I can do this. Gary, I love my friends. I'll help them out no matter what time of day. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I mean. Gary's so nice. Son, why do I got such good and talented friends? I don't know. I don't know. I'm very lucky that I have such cool, talented people around me. There's so many amazing people. Should work now? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Thank you very much, guy. Thanks for setting that up. Dennis, I'm gonna stick honey on the top of my fridge so she can guard the bread and cereal. I might munch a little bit on it, actually. I might take a little snack as payment. I love flowers. Alright, let's put this there. Turn off the background. I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. So if this is the, that's the starting frame, let's do the the ending breeze frame. Honey Wolf, <laughs> be forever stuck on top of the fridge though. I mean, I could I could risk shattering my ankles so that I could get out of there. But maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. I I like my my bones being intact. Known Sigma male, your son. <laughs> My son. Our son. Altarius. Or Altreus. Thank you for the ear wiggles. <laughs> this is still a rough, so we're not we're not gonna be, be polishing this part up too much. This is mostly to get the timing down. That mm -hmm. If it's if it's the maximum frame, it should be a little bit like this. Yeah. A little bit more like this. A little curved. Wah. Thank you, Altrius. Wah. Makes me giggle. <laughs> Altreus, I've seen clips of and references to your you quite a bit, but not sat in for a stream. Seeing your artistic abilities like this live is really cool. Thanks for the stream. No worries. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Hope you enjoy your time here. When he's bad, we put her stylus on top of the fridge. No, it gets all grimy and dusty. No, my stylus. You just open the door and climb down. I would not have thought of that. My little, my little pea brain would not have thought of that. <laughs> Mage, good vibes attract more good vibes. I am glad that a lot of the times that is the case. Let's see. I have this the stem going this way too. Little red clover up here. I love red clovers. I think they're my favorite wildflower. I don't see them too often, but when I do, it's a real treat. 
Mm -hmm. Let me scoot just over a little bit more. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> I may be giving myself too much work, but it's going to look so pretty. Animating flowers make me think that one garden house will be castle. Yeah! I was going to title the stream Ghibli Vibes again, but like, I wanted to mix it up a little. Both, thank you for the gift and sub to Mage Vivica. Thank you very much. And Ky Chaos Tyrant, welcome on back. Happy six months. I hope you're having a good day. Good half year? Good. I'm glad. And Dylan Universe, happy two months. Welcome on back. We live too much and honey might fly away. First goblin to achieve flight. Let's go. Perhaps it will be me. Uh, yeah, we want to do it this way. Something like this. This one doesn't need to go too far. Kind of reminds me of my grandma's field. I loved hanging her out on her farm. I remember one time, one time I was hanging her out in the field, and my cousins and I, we we decided to push around hay bales for fun. <laughs> and while we were pushing one, we saw a snake underneath. Oh, that was cool. A lot of my cousins freaked out. And my siblings freaked out too, so they jumped on top of the hay bale. I, I kind of just gave it space. I was like, I can't climb fast enough. I'm too short for this. I just got to be ready to run in case it goes at me. <laughs> but I think it was just a gardener snake, so it wasn't a big deal. I really wanted to pick it up. Legitimately, a, a pet snake doesn't sound all that bad. Honestly, one of, I, one of my friends had a pet snake. Or still has a pet snake, actually. I want to go visit them again so I can hold it. It's so cool. It's like a smooth, wrinkly muscle. You, you can feel it moving around. It's so cool. Sun might fly away implies your model's little bevel wings are purely decorative and vestigial. They're just for aesthetics. They're just to enhance the look. <laughs> Sun, I like clover honey, no pun intended. It's also like healthy or something. <laughs> it's pretty. Wildflowers are so pretty. Love that. But yeah, game like ends. Correct. Everything's out of stock because there is a cooldown. So that w because otherwise I would be doing redeems constantly, and then I'd never get to do art or play games. They're fun for little breaks, but there are other things I want to do on stream too, like do art. Garter snakes are great, and they can barely bite anyway. Yeah. Oh, every time I see them, I'm like, I could pick you up. I, c I could just, like, grab you right behind the neck and just hold you. And it would be so pretty. And I could look at the scales, but I don't think it would appreciate it much. Yeah. Then again, there were also rattlesnakes uh, in some of the areas. So, like, if you misjudge the snake, you could just get poisoned. So, best not deal with it. Or, yeah, poison? Vent? Bit and they're venomous. Yeah, poisonous if you eat it. Venom is if it bites you and you die. Probably wouldn't be happy about it now. Nah, nah. I, I can't imagine it would be. Everything's a boss fight if you're short enough. Exactly, that's why chihuahuas are always angry. Always barking. Oh, got the leaves going there. This one goes a little too far. Let's push this one back a little. This one also goes a little too far, so push it back. Two, 
Ik vind het wel spannend. I think because they move the same distance, it looks a little wonky. So let's fix that. Push one a little closer. Yeah, this looks a bit better in my brain. Your stories about people actually going out makes me wish I was more outdoors. Outgoing growing up. Grew up boring. That's alright. Even if you grew up, feel like you're boring, you can still do some exciting stuff as an adult. That's the best time to do exciting stuff, because you get to choose what it is. A lot of the times, me going outside as a kid, and I'm very thankful for this, was my parents making sure I went over to see family. And making sure that we did things that were exciting. What? That way we had good memories. Yeah, that reminds me of a funny D and D story where the big bad evil guy was saying that his great worm armor is impenetrable to normal attacks. So one of the magic party members casts resurrection on the great worm armor. That's incredibly smart. I will use that. Thank you. I always bark, but not because I'm angry. <laughs> That's my secret cap. Something. Mm -hmm. uh, petals need to be a bit bigger to be that behind flower. There we go. Barbarian must ask, are there any art books of Miss Honey's drawings? No, there are not actually. Most of my art is on Twitter. Uh, I'm trying to post a bit more onto Tumblr just so that I have a repertoire. But for the most part, no, I haven't made any art books before. I don't think I've made enough art to, to make an art book, honestly. I know Nisego has made, I think, at least two art books now? Or, or one for sure. I know he just made an art book, which is insanely cool. I love, I love his art. I mean, honey drawings. I like, like drawings that I do? Because either way, no, there are not. Eventane, thank you for the hydrate. Translation, the only thing standing between us and picking up pretty snakes is us. Exactly. Clitlings. I'm back to lurk and stress about two portfolios I have to do and finish by tomorrow, which are also graded. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Uh, make sure you eat. Uh, what program is you using for your moving hand? Uh, it's a program made by Sad Whale Studios. It's in the About section, if you'd like to see the, the actual program. But it costs, like... Ten dollars for the for the hand, uh, like the the hand programming, and I drew the asset myself. Honey is short on art to make a book. Yep, it's it's difficult because a lot of my art is <laughs> a lot of the art I do are the live two D projects I take on, so they are other people's models, and those take a lot of time, and it's harder to do an art book of those, although. I would be interested in seeing like a little tutorial how to of how some people cut their models because that sounds real neat. All right, now I just got a couple of these up there. <laughs> ah. I am a, I'm a black rose. Amaro black rose. There we go. Said it. Hope we're doing well. I had a python wrap around my leg once at a zoo. That like like you you volunteered or did it just break out of its enclosure and wrap around your leg? That's not that's that's not great. <laughs> I don't want to see an earwiggle, but I also want to save up to the quack routine. Decisions, decisions. Ooh. Up to you. You can always save it for later, too. Mm -hmm. They do a multiple times during stream, so at some point I will do it. 
favorite. I want to be a goblin. How does barbarian do it? I want to brew some beer for my fellow goblins. I'm being serious. I want to brew beer someday. Ooh, that sounds like fun. I would say, uh, look into classes. See if you can, you can look into breweries, see if they're hiring or they, were, they have classes on how to make stuff. I know it can be very dangerous, so yeah, be careful with it. One of my friends made mead one time, though. That was pretty cool. It was very good. There we go. Do a balance. Thanks for wasting your gold t three times. I know that gold is just going under my couch, right? You just throwing it under there, making my seat uncomfortable. Mm hmm. Brewing beer can be difficult. Try it once, didn't end well. Yeah, it, it's a, it's a skill for sure. I oh, made orange and lavender meat. It turned out awesome. Ooh, lavender meat. That does sound pretty good. I think it'll look like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's 10 a.m. and I have not slept because art. <gasps> I hope you've been having a good time with art, though. Because, yeah, once you. A lot of the times, once you get started with art, it's like, oh, actually, I am uh, a little addicted. Oh no, oh no, this might be a problem for my sleep schedule. I don't think, th weirdly enough, <laughs> the way I talk about it is gonna sound like a drug PSA, but weirdly enough, people do not talk about the addictive properties of art once you get started. Your, your brain, like, gets into a zone where it just focuses endlessly. It's hard to get there, but once you get there, it's so easy to go for hours just doing art, listening to a playlist, enjoying yourself. It may be frustrating, it may not look exactly right, but you just want to keep going. You want to keep drawing. The manic desire to finish projects? Yeah, the manic desire to create is a very strong one. So it's important to remember to go outside. Yep, that's important. Honest Corpse, thank you for wasting your gold. I do appreciate it. And Jinxed Ellie, thank you for the posture check. Flow state feels good. Exactly, Major Vivica, exactly. The flow state is very hard to learn how to activate. But once you get in there, ooh, you, you do some excellent work. That's kind of why I was, I think I talked about it not too long ago, I think I talked about it on Monday, where one of the hardest parts about being an artist is learning how to be creative on demand. That's why it's such a hard job, because it's not consistent. <laughs> when you're first starting, the art focus is not consistent. It's there, the bursts of art energy is, but the, the ability to channel it into the thing you are creating is very hard. It takes a lot of practice to learn what gets you into the flow state. But very rewarding once you do. Especially 3am at night? Yeah, a lot of creatives. Very active at nighttime. Not entirely sure why, but it's a very common thing I found with my art friends. Not even just, just art, like any sort of creative field. Nighttime. That's what it is for them. I go, welcome to things you can say in an art group and a rehab group with honey. They both work. There's, there's a lot of overlap there. Art is considerably healthier, you know. Uh, so long as you are getting enough exercise and not neglecting yourself. That's why exercise is so important. Remember, if you want to do art longer, you have to take breaks from it. Do exercise. Be healthy. So, 
down. Hmm. I want to move this one more. If it's more delicate, it'll be pushed in the breeze more. Not that much, though. Maybe this one has to be toned down a bit, actually. <laughs> I know I adjusted it so many times, but maybe, maybe this is a bit better. Yeah, that'll do. Hi, Callan. Welcome in. Like both, thank you for the breathe with you. <laughs> Alright, the first song I wrote it was after 28 hours of not going to bed. I spaced out and was a minute long masterpiece of garbage was born. I get inspired to write songs while I am falling asleep. It is that strange, like, that strange five minutes between barely conscious and unconscious where actual melodies happen. And I'm like, why? This is the worst time for it. Because if I wake up and try to record it, it ain't gonna work. And if I fall asleep, I will forget it in the morning. But this is a really, really nice tune. Why is it only coming out? when I'm just about to fall asleep. Please. Please, brain. Do it while I'm awake. Gary, I get inspired to write songs and I just wake up and of course can't remember what I had. Exactly, exactly. Why? Please, brain, if you want these songs to exist, pitch them at a better time. Pitch them at a much more active time, please. Hi, Ocard. I rarely come in as often as I used to, but I still love what you're doing and adore this model. Got a bit of a Castlevania vibe myself. Ooh. Fitting for your name. I like the Castlevania vibes. Which are like, art is considerably healthier either way when you consider what you're comparing to. True. By comparison, yes. Yeah. It's healthier than drugs. Art, it sucks so much I feel like the ghosts of the orchestra past possess me. Yes! Oh my gosh! I feel like... A, a, a pop star long gone is like, oh, hey, I heard this little ditty up and over and in the underworld. Why don't you have it for fun as you drift off to sleep? I'll play you a pleasant melody. And I'm like, no, while I'm awake, please. Yeah, that's uh, that's what happens when I fall asleep. What does Honey dream about? The things that could have been the sounds that could have could have come from me. Oh, the tunes that might have existed were I not such an eepy little guy. <laughs> Flower power time? Yeah, Burning Paper Giant. We're doing flowers today. Once in a while, I can write songs and dreams, but the hard part is getting to actually write them down. Yep. I am so glad that technology exists and you can just record yourself. It's very nice. But I'm still too tired to do it. <laughs> A cartoon I fun while sleepy just hum. Yeah, yeah, Vivica, exactly. Ever think I'm a masochist for using something a lot, even though I have Adobe Creative Cloud? I don't use any Adobe pro uh, products, so I have no idea. Hard, legit. If I have a dude, due date for composition, I just don't <laughs> go to sleep the night before and let the stress and sleep deprivation take over. Sometimes. The sleep deprivation is a strategic choice when it comes to art. Not saying it's a good one. Not saying it's one that you gotta do. But there are times in art school where a bunch of classmates and I, we would very specifically sleep in the classroom <laughs> overnight because we had a deadline coming up. And that is when our best work came out. Don't do it too often. Because the, 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 the sleep deprivation, at least in my case, hits a point where it's like I am no longer self-conscious about what I'm drawing. I'm no longer overthinking it. And I have a deadline. So whatever comes out, comes out. And that's, that's what I go with. I had to, I had to create like a, like a, a new portfolio, pretty much. So 
I had to make a new portfolio piece. And I am so bad at coloring that I just went, I'm just going to use the bisexual flag colors and let it roll. It's, it's the best composition I got right now. It's very simple, but we're going to use those colors. I'm going to leave it. And it turned out to be my best work. It was, it was my main piece. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? You need to go to given the EP? Yeah, given the EP Starlight. You get some rest. You take it easy. That's how Salvador Dali used to make his paintings. He would sleep with a metal washer in his hand and he would nod off. It would drop onto a plate and wake him up and he would paint whatever his half sleep brain was thinking of. Oh! Could not have been getting some solid sleep. Could not. <laughs> yeah, Starlight, if your, brain's, if your brain's melting, get some rest. So there's a book titled The Zen of Art of Not Giving a Fuck you might be interested in. Perhaps. All right. We've got the two frames. Now time to in between them. All right. Let me, I'm going to change the background. So watch your eyes. Watch your eyes. It's about to get bright. I specifically leave the canvas. Ooh, that is very bright. What? I specifically make sure the canvas is not this white because if I work on it on a white canvas for too long, it, it messes with my eyes. But in this case, I'm just going to do it real quick. Let's see. I'm going to start with this. Then push by the breeze. Uh, blue is the past one. Okay. The sunlight, it burns! My delicate retina! Oh, shoot. Uh, wrong size pen. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Sleep less than three hours already. Right, got it. No, sleep more. Sleep more. For long term art ability, sleep more. I see that meme. Stop giving me your best tunes, muses, but you're my EP's little guy. You're, you're God's silliest, sleepiest little soldier. How could we not? Maybe it's just at night we are so... We are so suggestible to the muses. They're like, oh, finally. They're not overthinking. We can give them ideas. And we're like, no! Not now! I need a sleep! Uh, yeah, we're gonna push this. We're gonna make this straight. A little bit more like this, and then this slightly over. This leaf will start to move. Start to move as well. This one very gently. It's very small, so we're gonna we're gonna gently start moving it. Leaf. Our bird. Ah, yes. I'm likely being auto modded for bullying. <laughs> no, no. Mubad, what are you doing? Mubot being silly. Although I do appreciate it. Mubot's actually quite a handy tool. Especially when people put too many symbols in there. Speaking of sleep deprivation, I surrender the rest of my mortal possessions to you, to Goblin as it's time for slumber. Night, you creative twerps. Good night, bard. Get some rest. I hope you have a good sleep. Alright, we're gonna push this slightly. First. Gently push the leaf forward. And it's real rough and sketchy so that I don't think too much and spend too much time polishing it. Because again, this is the rough. Oh, card. I work the night shift at my job and it can be hard to sleep sometimes for 30 hours. Get to the point where I can hear my own original music while I'm in the shower while being in the severe sleep deprivation. Oh boy, sleep deprivation does things to your brain. Fun racer. I remember many late night play stays in the studio for upcoming deadlines. Never pulled an all nighter in the art building itself due to the art building used to close in the early morning hours. Yeah, I was fortunate that my class was allowed to. The rule was we weren't allowed to be alone. There always had to be someone else there with us. So we got around by a lot of us having like basically sleepovers in class. Also, Bard, thank you for the two gifted subs. Thank you very much. Poor fans, thank you for the headbats. Thank you very much. 
I thought, thank you for the breather. And Jinx Ellie, thank you for the posture check. And everyone said, I can't remember if I did it, but I'm going to hydrate anyways. Good for you. Oh. Mm -hmm. you later, Mr. Max. You take it easy. Nice to meet you too. So excited for Honey's next model. Hope she's actually cute. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Listen, what luck. The soothing tone of voice from the cutest gobble to try and take a nap to. Yeah, take a nap, relax. Actually, the other day, because I was feeling so sick back on, I think it was like Thursday. I think that's when Petra was doing her donathon for a new computer. <laughs> What I did was I, I turned on her stream because all the goofballs were there and <laughs> I was just home alone feeling sick. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to turn on Petra's stream and just lurk and so I can fall asleep to the sound of my friends and feel safe while I'm so sick. <laughs> and so I just listened to them freaking out and having a lovely time. I think they were playing the duck game uh, and, and prop hunt. And it was, it was real nice. It reminded me of when we were at Camp Goofballs, and I, and I was just, I would just listen to them have a lovely time. Even if I didn't talk very much, I could just hear them, and that was enough. Perfect <laughs> <laughs> window. It's only noon, and I'm already EP. How dare the comfy vibes do this to me? Surrender. Take a nap. Do it. It's good for you. Taking naps are good for you. Not allowed to be there alone? Not sure I understand that. I actually have a... <laughs> because I grew up in a household with so many people, I... Unless I'm actively doing something, I'm not quite used to being alone for long periods of time. Feels a little, uh... Empty. And, and it's not bad, but if I spend too much time alone, I start to get the... The, the sad thoughts. They start to come in. Which is why I just do art! Constantly for hours upon hours and hours, because it's a uh, even if I'm sad and alone, you know, there's something nice going on. It's okay. Happy Saturday, poor man. Eight head empty, only cute couple. Are. Exactly. Why? Why would I be sad when I could create things instead? I mean, it's good to sit with sad sometimes, because got to do that. It's 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 supposedly good for you. Yeah. I don't mind being alone every once in a while. Good for me. There we go. I think the music is going to be my muse for when I'm in sort of lonely mood. Music is really good. Want a hug, hun? I do, though. I would love a hug, yeah. With into your halt, honey. You have been in, in found to be in possession of an illegal amount of cuteness and wholesomeness. In such quantities, it can be extremely dangerous. Lurk at your own risk. That's not bad. Flower. We're keeping it rough. We're keeping it rough. Even it simple. I'm gonna see if I can buy a bass and guitar. I really want to learn how to play those. I can already sing really good. Ooh, nice, nice. If you can sing real good, that's a, that's a good jumping off point for learning an instrument. Learning how to play an instrument's hard. I remember I used to play the violin. Oof, could not read music. Can't read sheet music. Just not not my skill set. I can play by ear though. That's a lot easier. Five octave vocal range. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Again, I don't know a whole lot of music terms. I just try to mimic whatever I hear. Oh. 
of relief. Oh, it's not a clover leaf. It's a clover flower. Oops. There we go. I only know one instrument. Violins. I love that Chainsaw Man song. That's a real good one. Oh, I love the Violence Fiend too. Probably my favorite fiend. Violence Fiend. It's very wide. Not many people can sing as low or as high as I can as a male singer. That's impressive. We'll be proud of that. In school, do you ever have to learn the recorder? I did learn the recorder for a little bit. It was pretty fun. My siblings and I would practice together. What an instrument, interesting instrument. Rick of Black, thank you for the hydrate. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Yes. It is. Neko, I spend most of the day alone before my parents come home. The only friend I can hang out with comes every comes once every three months. Aww. That's not very often. Hope you're doing okay. That sounds a little lonely. I think everyone's a little bit lonelier than they'd like. I guess that's okay. Everyone gets busy. I feel like I'm very far apart from my friends. It sucks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Needs to be curved a little. There we go. Makes it look a little smoother, I think. Little hearts on the leaves. All right, now the big one up here. Batman, like being alone, but feeling alone is the worst? Yeah. There's definitely a difference. There is definitely a big difference. You do make things a bit lonely, less, less lonely sometimes? Good. I'm glad. Not a complete substitute, but... Glad we can at least hang out for a bit and it kind of helps. Helps me too. Uh, what's this leaf look like? Gotta have a little curve to it. This. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> Winky Chiggy, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you very, very much. You didn't have to do that. Hope you've been enjoying yourself here. Bro, now I BRB for my bedtime rituals. Take care of yourself. Make sure you do what you gotta do. Such a cute little to goblin touching grass. Yeah. Drawing it from memory at this point. Favorite Pokemon? Gengar or Tepig? Or the evolutions of Tepig? I like pigs. They're very cute. Hi, Rainbow. How's it going? Like, I used to feel very lonely sometimes still, but now I have a lot of friends. They may be far away, but listening to them on stream makes me day. Like, no, hun. Thanks. Yeah, I am very thankful for the internet. There are a lot of people I wouldn't have met without it. it does a lot of good, I think. Just the, the ability to look up information and find what you need. And find tutorials to learn the, thing, the skills you want to learn. Is incredible. I love it. Sure, it's not perfect. But I'd rather have it than not.
Ooh, I pushed those back way too far. A little bit more. Yeah, that's good. Hi, Sarah. How's it going? I haven't caught a stream in a while, but I've seen clips on YouTube, so glad I could finally stop in. Oh, well, welcome on in, Wiggy. I hope you're having a lovely time. I hope you've been enjoying the clips on YouTube. Hope I'm not flooding your algorithm too much. <laughs> Nico, your food's here? You read, take care? You too! Enjoy your food! I'm always glad to hear what my friends are eating well. So important. That is definitely something I've struggled with. Eating, uh, well, the past couple days because of nausea. But I'm feeling better now, so. Living life is hard, but. Just gotta do our best. That's good. Alrighty. That one. New frame. Okay. Oh, the onion layer is starting to get a little, a little blurry. Okay. Keep track. So green is where it's going to be. Okay. Perfect. A lot of my algorithm, but it ain't a bad thing? Okay, good. So long as it ain't too much of a bad thing. Night gourd. Honey, help. The vibes are too comfy here and I'm tired, but it's only 7 p.m. here. <laughs> Ooh, uh-oh. I don't know what to do then. You just gotta... Maybe do some exercise. Eat something good. Start walking around. That usually helps me. Come on, honey. Tell me how you're so cute. It's subjective. You just think I'm cute. There you go. Persnickety, yay! Thank you for the hundred shinies. How's it going? Been really inspired by your art and streams. This year, finally finished my own VTuber model. Thank you for giving such a comfortable voice to tune into every evening. No worries, congratulations! Making your VTuber model is really cool. It's very, very impressive. Congratulations, I hope you've been having fun with it. Hi, sweet thing, welcome in! Let's see, okay. The green one is the next frame. The the dark blue one is the most recent frame. Okay. I can remember that, I think. Uh, uh. How are you doing, sweet fang? <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with this flower then. Start small. Yeah, it's already confusing me. Okay, let's see. Fair way to edit how many frames. Oop, not that button. To edit how many frames you see with the onion. Oh. We do. See that in Firebender. Good morning. I'm awake and in need of caffeine. Go ahead and grab it. Do what you gotta do. Sorry, how long have you been doing art? Uh since I was very young. Like, so I think I, since I was three? I remember when I was a kid, I just drew a bunch of birthday cards for my cousins and families. I don't know why my parents let me do this every time, but I guess they thought it was cute. But it made sure that I was drawing a lot of circles and boxes, and so that's how I got good at drawing. <laughs> Yeah, I guess on and off since I was a kid. Sorry, I'm just looking at the settings right now. The frame playback. Black. Nope. View. Okay, I'm not seeing it. Oh, that's all right. I'll just have to 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 look at it. Closer and flip. 
So yeah, we're going for green. Going for green. The alliteration will help. Thanos, is it ever too late to get into art? Nope. Never too late to get into art. I will say, though, if you are getting to, uh, into art as an adult, this is one of the big lessons I try to teach everyone. If you are just starting to get into art, and you are an adult, this is the hardest part. You must treat yourself as a baby. What does this mean? This means that you are learning a brand new skill, and it will take time to get good at it. You would not be harsh on a toddler or a baby while they're drawing their first pieces, right? Because they're still learning. They're brand new and fresh at this. So you must also treat yourself with that same kindness. You have to be incredibly encouraging and not compare yourself to people who have been drawing for years upon years more than you. Very, it's very tricky, especially when you want to be where they are at. But the best part is, as an adult, you will be able to learn much faster than a child will, for the most part. Because there are so many tutorials and so many references, and you know how to look for them. So it's a bit of a trade-off. If you learn while you're older, you will have to be kinder to yourself. But you'll be able to progress in the direction you want to go. If you're learning younger, you will be starting earlier, but you probably will not be learning as efficiently as an adult may. So, it's, it's a trade-off. <laughs> But yeah, never too late to get into art. You just you gotta shift your mentality a little bit for it, though. I like, are you gonna suck it first, but it will get better? Exactly. Yep. You're never gonna be well. Never say never. You you, if you are good at something immediately, that's great. But oftentimes it is not the case. Humble, humble swift needle. Thank you for the uh, posture check. And the boat. Thank you for the hundred shinies. Looks like Honey's parents agree with chat. Honey, cute. <laughs> My parents, they're silly and I love them. <sighs> Excuse me. And four friends, thank you for the ear wiggles. <laughs> Focusing on drawing a flower. Felinantes, don't believe in yourself. Believe in me. Believe in the Kamina who believes in you. <laughs> That's one way of doing it. You gotta crawl before you walk and walk before you run. Yeah, it's a learning process. I would cannot stand weakness. Everyone's got their own weak points. Cannot be mean about it, because... What's the point in that, you know? People often learn more when they know that it's safe and they will not be punished for making mistakes. You gotta learn from them. You gotta make a, your own cool space to be kind to yourself and try new things. Otherwise, you're too afraid to start new things and you won't progress. You can give Honey a big old hug for being so cute. I do love hugs. I do love hugs quite a bit. They're real nice. And Todd. <laughs> Totter Rider, thank you for the sub with Prime. Welcome on in the tavern. Hope you're having a good day. Burkfang, be nice to myself, an impossible challenge for sure. But a valid and very, very valuable one to learn. It's really tough. Don't get me wrong. Learning to be nice to yourself, incredibly difficult. Especially if you have it in habits where you keep criticizing yourself and comparing yourself to others. Comparison is the thief of joy. Don't compare yourself. To other art, to other people who are have been doing it longer. So of course you're not going to be as good as them. I'm not as good as them because they have been doing it longer than me. That's how it be. Reclet, also tip from a rookie artist: drawing every night isn't recommended. I agree. I highly agree. You see it more as a chore rather than a learning process. I did mine 652 nights in a row. Two out of ten would not recommend. Mr. Wolf, Wolf, I'm not drawing, but I am working on a kind of 3D art. Thank you for the speech. No worries. 3D art's real tricky. Like, I haven't got a grasp on it, so... You, you are braver for going into the extra dimension that I am scared of going into. <laughs> Serum Blast, welcome in! I'm glad you like my model art. I'm just making sure I don't miss any important questions. One sec. A mentor. As a child, you will learn faster, but you will make more mistakes. Yeah, as an adult, you will make mistakes too, but you will normally learn fast what the mistakes are and what are not. Yeah, exactly. Oh, 
was a baby once, but I grew out of it. <laughs> okay, that one got me. Okay. Galahad, but what if it's constructive self-criticism? There is a difference between constructive self-criticism and, uh, and just criticizing yourself. Absolutely, I agree. Self-criticism would be me going, oh, the volumes are inconsistent in this grass. I can fix that. But being kind to myself is also going, yeah, the volumes are inconsistent with the grass, but it's a rough pass. This is not the, the polished end product. So, gotta keep that perspective in mind. It's not perfect now, but it could be perfect if I continue working on it. Well, air quotes perfect, you know? There's no real such thing. Perfect is something that you may never achieve, and you gotta kind of accept that. You can shoot for it, but don't only accept perfection. That's just, that's just gonna be frustrating. Success is harder than failure for many things in this world. Hmm. I guess that's true, yeah. I can, I can see that, how that can be applicable. Super simple. I got here pretty late, but at least I can enjoy some chill honey art stream. Yeah, we're just vibing. Taking it easy. Hello, Dante's. A friend of mine directed me to you. Really enjoy your streams. Well, thank you. I'm glad you like them. For the most part, they're about this calm. Except when I play video games. <laughs> I know a lot of the video games I enjoy playing are FromSoft games. And I enjoyed Cuphead. Cuphead I'm getting surprisingly mad at. So I, 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 t I, I toned back that stream this week and was like, you know what? Maybe we'll take a step back. See why it's making me so mad and if I should progress with it. If not, that's okay. There's always art I can do. <laughs> Amateur. I have a question that has nothing to do with the topic. Do you play Baldur's Gate 3 or are you interested? It has a lot to do with D&D, &D, even if it wasn't 100% adopted near D&D &D near... Yes. I would like to play it, but currently I, I limit myself to the amount of video games I play because I have some art deadlines that I'm going to be hitting. And so I don't want to add a new hyperfixation in there that could potentially throw off the deadlines I have. It'll be a bit. Plus, it'll, it'll give you all a chance to play it before I do. You won't be spoiled for anything if I go into it. Colby, thank you for the posture. Or, sorry, breather ready. I will never grow out of being a baby. We're all still just babies flailing around trying to figure stuff out. But now that we've lived a certain amount of years, we are responsible for our actions. There are consequences to them that we gotta face. We gotta learn. This line needs to be here. There we go. So I'm going to try Armor Core 6. Thinking about it, I'm not sure because I'm not usually into mechs. I like the Dark Souls series and Bloodborne and Sekiro. I like swords. I think, I think it boils down to I like armor and I like swords. <laughs> I'm not good at shooting. Cuphead's DLC made me so, so mad and then again I played a year after last touch of the game with the warm-up. Sometimes a game just, just calls to you and you're like, you know what? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Winter. Yeah, I love it, but I don't care for spoilers. There are 1,700 or 1,000 endings in Baldur's Gate 3, so we'll never find all of them myself. There, yeah. Do you have any other recommendations for other artists to follow? Yeah, absolutely. Just one sec. I'm going to finish up this plant. Let's see. Artists. I will recommend some, some art streamers on Twitch, because that is probably the best way to do it. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Moon is an absolutely wonderful artist. Made their own model. Their own art style is so wonderful. If you love very someone who is very good at rendering and making things look soft and smooth and shiny, check out Moon. Moon style, absolutely wonderful that. As well as coloring-wise, Moon is great at dark goth colors. So good. 
If I'm not into mechs, guess I picked the wrong name then. <laughs> you can be into mechs, it's just not my thing. Let's see, another one? Sun. Sun, it, it, other end of the spectrum. Very speedy at drawing, very cute art style, with bright, fun colors. Absolutely check, check them out. So much fun. Very, very much a gremlin. <laughs> uh, let's see. Back. You do 3D modeling? Working on it, but no, not really at the moment. Another one is Nisego. Nisego, for those of y'all who don't know, Nisego is incredibly fast at drawing, has a wonderful sense of anatomy and active posing for characters that I I I would love and I want to learn how how they do it. Also does comic art, which is really, really good. Coloring is also incredibly fast. It's so cool. It's so cool to watch. The infamous artist spectrum. Yep, there's a lot of there's a lot of different art styles. I'm trying to give you the most varied ones that I can think of. Hmm. There's another really good artist. There are a lot of them. There's uh Hmm. I'm trying to think of the ones that stream. Because I know some that don't stream, and I'm like, I have no idea what their process is like. But it, like, if you're trying to learn, those are some real good ones to learn from. And they stream fairly frequently, too, so. Yeah. I think of one more. When you get older, you have more responsibility while also no longer having plot armor to protect you from your own stupidity. Yep. The excuse of your your child no longer applies. The things you do have consequences and you gotta live with them. I think of another artist who has a much a very distinct, varied style from those three. Because Gary does art. They may stream, but are they goblin VTubers? Well, Gary is a goblin VTuber. He has merch. Gary is also an artist. Does stream a lot of games and does art occasionally. And the art is very, very nice. It's very... I'm trying to think of the, the word to explain it. It's very... It's punk. It's the best way I can describe it. It's just like, it's punk. I love that Gary most usually draws on a green canvas. I love the way Gary's line art works. It's 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 very friendly looking while still having edges, and I like it. Flowers are so cute, by the way, Mew. Oh, come on in, Sugar Skull. I'm glad you like the flowers. I'm just working on animating them gently right now. Little little lo-fi starting soon screen, you know. Oh, Artie, thank you for the reason. Happy three months. Welcome on back. Also, McBow, thank you for the gift and sub to Tea Loving Firebender. And for the 100 shinies. Raging and enjoying it, the true soul of a gamer. Sometimes it's fun to enjoy a little rage. A little bit. Not always. You gotta be in the, you gotta be in the right headspace for it. But sometimes it's fun. Alright, I'm gonna do this plant up here. Oh gosh, Neko was right. Neko was absolutely right. Crimson, I'm immune to consequences. My still works in Nintendo. <laughs> it is my wheel. There we go. That's not bad. Let's check this What app do you use? Depends. What app do you for for what? Is the app for drawing? There's the uh, <laughs> the tools I use for making models. They are different tools entirely. Well, not entirely. I still use Clip Studio. Are 
you animating the whole image? Yep. Pretty much. I'm, I'm gonna have a background. I'm not gonna animate everything, but pretty much what you see moving here is, is what's gonna move. Which is a lot of grass and a lot of flowers. Trying not to make it too complicated on myself, but... You know me. Yeah, I get a little overambitious with my art. <laughs> rage is good, feel your rage, use it, and be a barbarian. But what if I want to be a, a, just a silly little guy? Just a silly little guy on the internet. And leaf. Smaller. Hmm. What if I just want to be silly? Draw lo-fi characters sitting in grass, enjoying nature and just existence in general. work? Kind of. Why is she outside? How are we supposed to relate to that? <laughs> you don't have to relate to it, but you, you can take it as a little, little nudge about how beautiful the outside world is. Think about it, all the leaves and the breeze and the grass. Quite lovely. Make sure every blade of grass is unique. Each individually handcrafted for every frame. Okay, I need one more down here. Three. No, that goes too high. Something like this, maybe? Hmm. Maybe I'll push it a little bit more. Yeah, that looks a bit better. I really want a way to sneak some drawing time in my office, but I'm still lost when it comes to tablets. Oh, okay. Depends on what ta kind of tablet you get. I also don't know too much about tablets themselves. I just make sure the pen pressure is alright, and then I just start drawing. Gentle shifting the sunbeams. Ooh. Oh, that would be lovely to animate, actually. Ooh. Think about it now. Oh, give myself more work, but it would look so pretty. Okay, grass can sometimes be sharp enough to cut the skin. Yeah, I actually know that. I used to run around a lot in specifically hay fields. Hay fields? Cut your legs up for something fierce. If you're running through them, make sure you're wearing like jeans. Something, something to protect them, because like. It, it's, it's just bad paper cuts. Ugh. Not great. What's your favorite role in D&D to RP? Initiative. That's probably my favorite thing to roll for. Thought about it's really satisfying. You can because you can think of very fun ways as to why your initiative is so good or awful. There's there's some very fun fun things you can do with that. Where it's like, oh, the fight began. You got distracted by your own shoelace. And obviously, for your own safety, you must start tying it immediately. Hmm, let's see. I think I'm missing a leaf over here. Yep. Leaf needs to go down a little bit more. There we go. Hmm. 
There we are. All right. I think that takes care of the big one for now. You're talking about ADH, ADH and D? No, but I, I might have some of it. I might have a little dose of it. I was talking about paper cuts and grass and how wearing jeans... Actually, wearing pants when you go out in grass, generally a good idea. Mwah. Hey, loving. Get a Hui on Canvas 13 Pro. It's extremely high performance, compact enough to share a desk with a lot of other equipment, while also being large enough to have some really serious drawing room. I mean, if it works, yeah, definitely. 13, 13, 13 inches, right? Because mine is a 22 inch, which is comfortable for me. I like it. But I've only ever used a 22 inch. I'm at the tying a shoelace in the midst of combat. Oh, yep. Absolutely, yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> oh, the grasshopper will eat your leg hairs. Ooh. Do they? I've never stood long enough in a field to find grasshoppers jumping on my legs. How'd you go? Thank you for the hydrate. Phew. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think, uh, weirdly enough, I think I have to reverse this. Gotta flip the other way around, I think. Hmm. Maybe not that extreme, but something close to this. Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. There are things in the grass. You don't bother those things and hope they don't bother you. Exactly. If you're a goblin, how much range damage would that do for? Depends on what your strength is. <laughs> you could treat it as an improvised weapon, or if the goblin is particularly dangerous and carrying a lot of knives, probably more than you would expect. Honey, I cannot sleep. I crave chicken. Fill that craven. Get the chicken. Eat it. Sate the hunger. But yeah, if you're craving chicken, go for it. See if you can get it. If not, maybe drink some water. Get some soup. How many knives are enough knives for a goblin? Almost never enough. I mean, chocolate cake for breakfast? Live in the dream. Like, I can't judge people who eat cake for breakfast. I literally have pancake for breakfast today. Avalanche, thank you for the 500 shinies. What if strength is my dump stat? Depends on what level you're at. <laughs> and what 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 version of D D you're playing. Or if you're playing a different RPG. There's a lot of factors that could go into it. I am not a DM. I would not know this off the top of my head. There's a goblin, what vehicles do goblins prefer to use? Giant spiders, giant bats, there's snot wagons. I personally like boar travel, but that's because they're cute. They're adorable. Alright, we're gonna curve. 
Let's see. A little bit of leaf up here. Make that a bit more like this. There we go. Best response to people judging you for having cakes breakfast is I have cake and you do not. Yeah, you live your life. Listen, life happens fast. If you having an, if you having a day where you think having cake for breakfast may improve it, why not? Making said no milk or eggs, right? Yeah, We're out of milk and out of eggs. Gotta go grocery shopping. You have no chicken or soup, Starlight. Oh no, it'd be water, water, and then get some sleep. Scooch this over a little bit, actually. Because it feels like it's sliding across the screen. Yeah, this looks better. A little better. Draw this because I don't like it. I dived in here from Cove. Magic. You just knew this beforehand. You you just knew. You just knew. You talking about cake and I'm here eating a salad? Listen, salads are delicious and they're good for you, so don't knock a salad. You say, oh, yeah, I'm a little focused. I'm looking at it and just going like, does this work? Hmm. I think the, the volume pops a little too much here. Fix that. Animating flowers is hard. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Maria, you got ube flavored pancake flour? That sounds great. I don't think I've had ube before. I don't like yams, right? Arthur, thank you for the posture check. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. Stacy? Oh, purple yams, yeah. Okay. Because if I'm not mistaken, Uve is the Filipino way of saying it. Is that correct? Getting a breeze from my window. Yes! A little breezy to help cool off. I think the flowers are, move a little too drastically in the front, so we're gonna try to cool cool this off a little bit. Flower over here. No, it pops back too much. Animating flowers is hard. Taro is the Japanese version. Oh, okay. I think I've had taro before. Yeah, I've had I've had taro bubble tea. It's really good. I'm gonna search for ways to acquire money to acquire chicken. All right. Alright, Starlight, good luck. 
reckon my time is ready to head the shower. Be right back, everyone. Have a good shower. A Filipino purple yam that's a bit different from regular yam. If you try and sell a Filipino a regular purple yam and you call it ube, they will be angry with you. Oh, okay, there's a difference then. Gotcha. One more frame and then these ones will flip. We're getting to the, the timing corrections now in the rough. Flower here, twisting leaf here as well. Nah, it pops a little too much. I'm getting into the focus zone because of the music. Do you know any languages? I know. Common. At least for my region. English. Uh, know a little French. Not a whole lot, but enough to kind of grasp a basic like, conversation. Well, have a good dinner. You take it easy. Okay, I hope you're feeling better. I'm feeling much better right now. Not as nauseous as yesterday, so we're feeling good. Doing alright, but still taking it easy and just being gentle with myself. Just in case. You never know. You have beautiful drawings, it's like, yeah, thank you. Might be partly because I am a drawn, so that makes sense. French accent, firmly grasp. <laughs> I don't know if I could do a French accent. Whenever someone says, speak French, I just, I default to the, the Dexter meme of just going like, omelette du fromage. First, I always love role-playing really dumb characters that are nonetheless intuitive as hell. Party needs to cl needs to closer close and get closer to the enemy. Throw the rest of the party. Problem solved. If it work, it work. I love thinking of silly solutions to problems presented by the DM. It's very fun. Alright. A little extra curve here for this flower. I think it's a little taller, actually. A little bit of the petals here. Put this a little back. This a little shorter. Wah. No, Maddie. Thanks for the stream, honey. I'm gonna head to the gym, but I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good time at the gym. Make sure to stretch. Don't hurt yourself. <sighs> Hurting yourself sucks. Mm -hmm. 
That's the only friend she needs to know to woo everyone over. Exactly. Yep. When I try to speak Spanish, I do it in a German accent since German is the first language I learned. Accents are just, we are speaking the same language with different language rules. It's neat. New frame. Gonna be interesting. I'm messing around with the time in a little bit. I think if I offset this one flower, then it'll it'll look a little bit better so that they're not all completely synchronized, you know? Thanks for luck, Banjo. The Japanese for cheese omelet is Chizu Muretsu. Hmm. Neat. It's a big pop, actually. I like it. Not a fan. Not a vibe. Put it back. Something like this? Roko then, thank you for wasting your gold. Going right onto my couch. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. A little too low still. Scooch it up a bit. Yeah, it looks better. Our cheese omelet is Rubicon Cassis. I do know how to pronounce do not know how to pronounce that. Arthur, thank you for the pre 3D. Also, Meta Gaming, thank you for the reset. Happy six months, welcome on back. Another one because I'm just gonna focus on this one flower for now. Something about it's real nice. Hmm. I don't know why this flower is sticking out in my head so much. Maybe I've just gotten in the zone. Hmm. Definitely possible. Now, matcha or regular tea? Ooh. I like matcha, but I like bitter things. I like things that taste a little bitter. Nice. Hmm. Maybe tilt it a little bit. I'm so glad my brain is like, this is a rough. I don't gotta worry about it being consistent right now. And I'm like, yes, thank you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. This is a later honey problem. I'm good luck future honey exactly exactly i'm not future honey that's her problem 
<laughs> I hope you're doing well, Jim. Good mo what is it, morning? Good time zone to you. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know what time zones are anymore. Okay. Does this look good for a start? I can put it. Let's see. Not looking too bad. Not looking too bad. Yeah, it's very calming to look at. That's that's good. That's good. Honestly. Good sign tone buddy pal. I made chicken and rice. This should slap. <gasps> chicken and rice. Ooh. I'm having a good morning. I have pancakes. It was nice. Uh I'm so excited because I think I can get the rough done today. Or at least the rough of these plants done today. And then once that's done, I just need to draw a background and then do a little cleanup pass. For the line art and then color it so that's not too bad honestly that's pretty good starlight i have maybe possibly acquired chicken for future me <gasps> look at us go and eat some chicken oh ooh, i got some chicken in the freezer i got a dethaw oh yeah i did not separate that one into containers a huge chicken meal okay we're gonna have to make let's see i can make chicken pot pie i can make chicken wraps Chicken salad. That's probably what I have to do. It'll just be like three days of chicken meals. <laughs> Ooh, it'll be fine. Hey, Blano, how long do you take to draw stuff? Depends on what I'm drawing, because that answer changes depending on depending on the complexity of the piece. The more there is in the piece, the longer it takes. The less there is in a piece, the shorter it takes usually. Yeah, Diamond, the, the amount of gold goes up pretty quickly from what I'm noticing. Hmm. Arnola, you gotta head out. <laughs> Have a nice day and night, everyone. You're doing amazing work, honey. See you next time. See you later, Chardonnay. Thanks for dropping by and saying hi and relaxing with us. Jeez, guy, that's a lot of gold. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm, I'm, I'm focusing. I'm into zone. Get to go back. Animating so time consuming, but oh boy, doesn't it feel satisfying when it's getting close to done though? So nice. It's so time consuming, but it's so nice. Eat is so cathartic to say when you're throwing stuff? Absolutely is. Absolutely, I agree. Just yelling something while you're throwing, throwing another thing is. Strong appeal to it. I have a feeling we aren't going to see the outfit until the new model debut. Super Zoom Blue, you guess correctly. There will be a, there will be a stand-in um, outfit while I work on it. But yes, jumps. Do you have to draw it going backwards too, or do you like reverse the existing frames? I do have to draw it going backwards too. So the the fun part is if you look at it. So it curves. The curves stay fairly consistent. It goes straight. Now curves this way, and then it hits the furthest, and now I have to draw it going back with the reverse curve. So re rewinding it doesn't quite work. It, it's a it's a quick shortcut that does work if you're being being time efficient, I guess. But if you want to give it that nice like swaying, if you look at the grass, it sways, makes a makes a C or a reverse C, and then it becomes a C. When it goes back. Ooh, it's a lot of work. But it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm so pleased with the grass. I'm so pleased with the grass. I got it to go in a wave. It goes in a wave. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh, a little stretch real quick. Feel it in the back. Oh. But yeah, because it's going to be the starting scene screen for the next model. Oh. <sighs> Won't be showing the outfit. It looks so lively in the end. Yeah, I'm so excited. I think it's going to be real nice. Maybe a lot of work, but worth it. What software? CS Paint. Silkalin. Essentially, it moves in a sine wave pattern, which is one of the old cheats they use for the old cell animation. Yeah. I think I understand that. Hi, Crochet Girl. Hope you're having a good one. Crocheting as we speak. <gasps> Neko, you had sandwiches? Oh, sandwiches sounds so good. I'll go pick up some bread, too. Maybe I'll make some buns. It's been a while since I've tried baking. Last time I tried baking, I messed up a pie crust. I forgot, forgot to put egg in it. Did not turn out great. Coastal ate it, but I was like, I can't eat the crust. It. I know I baked it for the right amount of time, but it feels underbaked. I just messed up the recipe. So it happens. Flamo, thank you for the reason. Happy three months. Welcome on back. Trying to air fry some tor tornado fires with my popcorn chicken and asparagus? That sounds fancy. Tornado fires with my popcorn. I don't know if I've had popcorn chicken before. Alright. We're going back. And then. Mm -hmm. on this layer. Maybe two, four. So two more frames and then I'll revert to the base again. One, this one. Make that the first. I was gonna go back to normal. Oh gosh, that's quite a quite a gap to cover. So it's going to be here. That's a lot of space, actually. I, get, I, I, I underestimated the amount, of, the amount of space this this drawing had to travel. Oh, gosh. Check it out. You too, and yes. Nice. I tried crocheting a little bit, but I, I, I'm not particularly skilled with physical mediums, unfortunately. More of a digital artist. Still fun, though. I like making friendship bracelets. Used to do that a lot when I was a kid. There wasn't much to do back when I was hanging out at my grandma's. But she would always have craft books in, like, the kids' room. And there would be so many. Like, there was how to make a doll out of yarn, which was just wrapping it up so they were only, like, three inches tall. They were pretty, and they were fun to make. They were more fun to make than to actually play with, though. <laughs> learned how to do a lot of knots. A lot of... That's where I learned how to crochet a bit. Tried knitting. I'm not great at keeping the knots consistent in knitting. They're, they're kind of wonky looking when I do it. But I remember making bracelets was the best one. I was do a single line to get the movement spacing and location for each. Oh, smart. That's a good idea. Let's do... Yeah, I think, right? I think I need one more frame. This animation is going to be eight frames long. Nice. Settle into it. Hi, Ritsky, how's it going? And I'm rather new to the stream, but I want to say I absolutely love the model. Thank you. Yeah, I made it myself. This is the fourth iteration of my model I've made. I'm working on the fifth one as we speak. <laughs> yeah. I love making models. It's so much fun. It, it's how I got into VTubing. Was I was excited by the technology, wanted to test it out and see how it worked, and 
here we are two years later. Uh, that gains too much mass. Volumes need to stay fairly consistent. This spends too much time here. One needs to move a little bit more. Go, and then we can scooch this one over a little bit. Scooch this one over a little bit. And then this one to settle. Maybe I don't even need the eighth frame. Maybe I don't need it. Maybe seven frames is enough. <laughs> Incredibly expressive since ears alone move more than some VTubers at all. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it I think it helps with the motion. Girl, I love your art style. Thank you. I'm real pleased with it. It's it's updated because this this model here is about a year old. It's been a little bit. So my my art style has significantly it's still recognizable. Like the the model the model that's coming next is still recognizable as me, but it's it's different. <laughs> it's a little different. So I'm excited for y'all to see it. And good night, Arthur. You get some sleep. She's a year old. Yeah, jumpster. This baby, one year coming up. In September, because I think I debuted it in September or October. We're coming up. We're coming up. Ooh. Time's passing. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'm so freaking excited. I'm glad I made a model that, that has lasted this long and still stands up, but I'm ready for the new one. I'm ready for the new one. It was October, debuted in your Halloween. Right, debuted in your Halloween. So not quite a year. I got I got about two months. <laughs> two months, then she's a year old. Are you transforming the flower fr frame to frame? I thought CSX didn't allow that. Yeah, just uh redrawn it. Uh I have C Clip Studio Paint EX. It allows you to redraw. I'm just drawing frame by frame. Let's see how the timing works now. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Maybe it does need that 8th frame, though. Hmm. It's wrong button. A little bit more. Like this. Quick Swift, thank you for the raid! Welcome on in, Raiders, how are y'all doing? You're doing software and game development. Ooh, are you making your own game? Welcome on in, Raiders. Pleasure to meet you. My name's Honey. I'm a goblin. I hope y'all are having a lovely, lovely time. Today we're, uh, we're just vibing. We're taking it easy. Doing a little bit of animation work for a new starting soon screen. And it's going pretty good. Check it out. I'll just, I'll just play it for y'all. Turn on the little starting soon. Right now we're just animating the flowers. Like there, I've successfully shaken off the EPs. How are we doing, folks? We're doing good. I hope you had a good nap. Spice beans, thank you for the posture check, by the way. What? This is a good stretch for my arms. Whew. Whew. Also, Chef, thank you for the hydrate. Switch. It's a sort of game. I'm trying to make my own VTuber multiplayer thing. Oh. Like your own VTS? Or, or a, a game where you can share models? And camera system. Thank you for the ear wiggles. <laughs> it's a habit now. It's a habit now to stick out my tongue when I do ear wiggles. Such a comfy starting soon. Yeah! I'm so excited for it to be cleaned up. It's still in the rough stages. 
I'm just getting the timing down for everything. And then we're gonna clean it up, color it, and then it's pretty much good to go once I add some effects into it. You serve the Dark Lord Sauron as a goblin. Nah, different universe, different universe. But I, see, I can see how you make it confused. As some people look at me and go, ah, yes. She was born in the pits. I'm not familiar with what VTS is. Oh, okay. VTS is a VTube studio. So it's what, it's what most VTubers use to um, display their models. So we create the models in Live2D, export them, put them into VTube Studio, and then VTube Studio connects to the camera programs we use and allows it to be tracked and move. But yeah, if, if, if not, different thing, different thing. VTS? Uh, VTS. Yes, because Virtual Tuber Studios, I guess, is what it would, it would stand for, I guess? And Joker's at. Thank you for the resub. Happy 19 months. Welcome all back. We made it before the end. Hi, honey. Hi, Joker. Yeah, I won't be ending for a little bit. Probably for another hour ish. I want to finish these flowers. If I finish these flowers, then I got th these flowers left. And that's pretty much it. Neko, and now you can. Also, now you can have friends in the same BTS. Yeah, you can have them in the same instance. <gasps> Hi, Zuchi! Zuchi, check it out! Look at it. Look at how cozy it is! It's so cute! It's so cute! Cozy! I'm so excited. <sighs> what do you think about fruit snacks? Oh, they're delicious. Fruit snacks are great. I don't eat fruit leather that much, but pretty tasty. Uh, looks very cozy. Thanks, Zoex. Also, if you gotta get some rest, if you gotta grab some food, get some water, take a nap, absolutely no worries. Make sure you take care of yourself. Kinda, yeah, I've been making my own VTube overlay in Unity. Oh, nice! An overlay! That's real cool. Zuchi, it's so cozy and calm. Yeah! It's so cozy and calm. I'm excited. I'm so excited for this to be, like... I mean, I love the process. Don't get me wrong. I love the process of making these these screens, but I'm so excited when I see the final product. I'll probably be able to stare at it for hours. It's so cute. It's so pretty. Are you streaming tomorrow? No, I take Sundays off because that's when I play D&D. But I will be streaming Monday at 6 p.m. PDT or 9 p.m. EST. If you want, there, my schedule is uh, below in the schedule section of Twitch. Pretty consistently, it stays Fridays evenings, Saturday mornings, and Monday evenings. There's significantly larger movement of the flower between frames 5 and 6, or 6 and 7. A little hard to see the frame number here on the tablet. Oh, absolutely fair. Let's see. Yeah, it's a bit of a jump there. Let me see. Hmm, hmm a little bit, yeah. Try to smooth that out a bit. Let's see. What are you playing, D&D? D &D? Currently, I'm playing a Drow Paladin. I used to play a Goblin Barbarian, which she was my absolute favorite. But that campaign ended a couple months ago? Yeah, a couple months ago. Appreciate it. I'll be grabbing so much food shortly. Good. Good. I'm going to be grabbing a lot of food after my stream. You can feel the hunger once the stream's over. Charlotte chicken's on the way. Nice. We're UK based, so it's not too late. Ah, gotcha. Happy time zone to you. <laughs> she points at process. This is great. Points at product. But I love this. Exactly, yeah. I love seeing the progress. But the final product brings me joy and satisfaction. This is why I don't go outside. I don't go clubbing. I don't go out to, to loud places. Not when there is art that fulfills my soul like this. So satisfying. I think this has got to be a little lower. Mm -hmm. VTubers are virtual potatoes? <laughs> they certainly can be. Virtual tubers. Oh yeah, I do miniature work and when I get in the zone, it's so good. Oh yeah. Guy that, and because you're terrified of 90% of people. People are intimidating, alright? 
people are very cool. They got their own lives, and 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 and, and, and I don't. Want, I always want to impress people when I first meet them, and that makes me nervous. <sighs> people are cool. One more frame of this, I think, for this flower. We're getting into the real rough stages. Try not to think too much about volume and consistency and more about the, the timing and the motion. Let me go back. Bit like this. You want to impress people? Interesting. Yes. Listen, people are, people are cool, and I'm always... You can put me in a room with anyone and I'll be like, I am underqualified to even socialize with all of these people. That's me. That's me. <laughs> That's alright. That's a self-confidence issue I'm working on. I'm working on it. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Right, I finally got caught a stream. Let's go. Welcome on in. Hi, Brad. I hope you're doing well. Good. You should tell the story of how your goblin barbarian gloriously messed up your DM's campaign. Oh, I would like to tell that story one day. Perhaps with a visual aid. But we're busy. We're working on it. Starlight. I'm gonna go drink some energy drink because it's late enough in the day at this point that sleeping would just further complicate my sleep schedule. Seems too cozy though. I would fall asleep if I keep watching. I'm off. Catch you later, Starlight. Enjoy your chicken. Actually, if your model's expressive, super cool. Thank you. I made it myself. It was real fun. Yeah, and I love making models. They are just... It's so satisfying. It's so sat satisfying to see them move in very, very smooth, fluid ways. I think I need to scooch this frame over a little bit, actually. This one is too close. There we go. You ever just unintentionally scare the living daylights out of people by waking up, walking up behind them and speaking? Did that a couple times, yeah. Sometimes when you're not at eye level, people tend to not notice you. <laughs> Love that Honey's grown from shy to just confidently shy. I am secure in my insecurities. <laughs> Oh, it's way over there. Oh, dang. This has got a long way to travel, actually. <laughs> Whoops. All right, we're going we're gonna to adjust that. I think that works. That's a big jump, actually. Yeah, there's no jump, and then there's too much of a jump. Okay. We will fix that. Yeah, I think this works a little better. Okay, sweet. I'm like 6'3 and 200 pounds. I don't know how they don't notice me while I'm walking up. Some people are just distracted by little things in their daily lives. They don't notice. Everyone's got their own things going on. I'm gonna eat a cherry. I have some fruit by my desk. Honey has grown from shrieking at the thought of conversation to just blushing nervously at the thought of conversation. Character progression. I'm going through my socializing arc. Oh, where'd I put it? One sec. <laughs> I had a bowl for cherry pits. Oh. I moved it to my other desk. All right, cool. 
not even a desk, it's a coffee table. Is Wimdy today snail space? Oh. <laughs> a breeze would be quite nice, actually. A breeze would be quite nice. Wizlock, thank you for the resub. Happy five months. Welcome back. Month five, let's go. You made it. You made it to almost half a year. Thank you for the meh. Gotta try to split the plates from there to be from there at the table. I am not. I do not want to get cherry stains all over any of my any of my couch or or my floor. Not a good idea. Yeah, so I can say something that would drive Honey back into the realms of panic. Being a guest in IRL and getting IRL support. Ooh, that is a ooh. Yeah, that does scare me. Actually, that one does scare me. <laughs> Meeting people. Ooh, ooh. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Up to people's expectations. Ooh. Scary. Mm Gotta get these clean. All right, now I gotta get the face leaves. What if the expectation is that you're just a dork? Then what if I'm not dorky enough? Is Clip Studio one or two? I believe this is Clip Studio 2. Um, Clip Studio recently dropped their full update, where it's not a monthly paid subscription. So I upgraded to Clip Studio EX 2.0. That's green hands cool. Thanks, date. Are you taking a break from Cuphead, honey? Yeah. I was getting a little frustrated with it with the last one, so I'm gonna take it easy. Take it easy. Not gonna not gonna force it, you know? Wait. There are the leaves. Okay. I'm gonna work backwards for this one. Close, not quite. But I'll, I'll keep it like this for now. The volumes are not consistent, it's just the time. Milklin. Exact frame number analyzed for the flower jump is frames 25, 4 to 25. The previous larger flower moves way further than the previous. Okay, let's see. 24, 25. Yeah, this is a big jump, but I think that's okay. I think timing-wise, it's all right. Yeah, this is a pretty big jump. As long as it's not... The timing is not too varied. Let's draw that in, actually. Yeah, by worrying about that, you, you're definitely dorky enough. <laughs> know what people expect. Let's see. Uh... Okay. Got frame. Frame. You enjoy laying out in the field reading a book? Yeah, I enjoy laying out in the field and taking a nap, quite honestly. Sleeping outside is nice. Daytime naps, I mean. Not actually at nighttime. That's... No. Not as much. Hmm. 
What about the insects outside? They're not bad. Honestly, they're not too bad. Hi, Pyro. I've come to a realization that I need more discipline when it comes to if I wanted to pursue art, I think. I'm sure you'd be to comment on that. I'm terrible at discipline myself. Hmm. I think... I don't know if I would say that I am disciplined. I don't know if I'm very disciplined, to be honest. Uh, but what I did do is I trained my brain to think of art as something fun. And in doing that, I drew more frequently. So if you treat art kind of like something like a game or just a release and a, a way to create something instead of a mandatory thing you must do, that can make you do it more often and you will learn to improve faster. Signing up for lessons is great. That's a good way to stay focused and have a timeline. But trying to just make sure you enjoy art more will make your brain want to do it more. It'll give it that little boost of feel-good chemicals, you know, or happy chemicals. The sense of accomplishment. Dingus, I need the scoreboard and the cool skin unlocks to commit to it. When do we get the art battle pass? Uh, it's just $50 you could get out of the Epic Store. That's how you get the art focus. But yeah, genuinely, making... It's kind of like video games. If it is fun, you will do it more often. You don't train to get better at video games. Well, some people do, but you do it because it's fun. So treat art as, as the same or the same way you would do something fun. So you'll do it more often. Hi, Angelson. All right, it makes sense. I guess the game would be something akin to how do I improve this game? Hmm. I don't even know if I'd go that far to say how do I improve this drawing. I would just go, what do I want to draw right now? Do I want to draw a bumblebee? Do I want to draw a character? Do I want to draw a flower pot? Do I want to draw something soft? Do I want to try to think of the subject and make sure the subject of what you're drawing is something that you enjoy. Amoronico, you didn't miss too much. We're still working on the flowers. Making it hard on myself, but you know what? That's okay. Yeah. Kind of pops into place, but that'll be okay for now. Yeah, that'll be all right. How many frames to get it real smooth? Uh, I'm trying not to get it real smooth right now. I'm just kind of roughing it out. So this is probably not going to be an incredibly smooth, fluid animation because it's starting soon screen and I only have so much time, right? So I'm animating on fours. Fours is kind of what I'm going for because it just saves me time where I can get the motion down and it doesn't have to be perfect. Potato, thank you for wasting your gold. It's just going under my couch. Thanks. <laughs> you too. Thank you for the breather, Dean. Excuse me. Also, oh, thank you for the hydrate. I'm a little thirsty. I'm ready. Yeah, I understand that, but how many would that be? Oh, yeah. If you want to make an animation real smooth, uh, one, animating on twos or ones is the best course of action. Twos is good because it's not as much work as ones, but ones is like really smooth. But sometimes it's too smooth. Like it looks weird and uncanny. So. Going on twos is the best case. Gold goes in the shiny storage cap, so that's how it is. That's how it works. Exactly. Exactly. Firebender gets it. I selected Taiwanese black tea. Ooh, as today's leaf juice. That does sound good. Mm -hmm. Hi, Yaya. How are you? Right, look, honey, I'm a competitive gamer. I must train to become the most skilled mercy main in the land. Enjoy being a mercy main. That is, I don't envy you. 
Nicolin and the one hand and then one had the sudden realization that the most advanced digital art program one has touched in almost 18 years would just be MS Paint. If it works, it works. Honestly, it works, it works. Chris Nickney, art money for microtransactions are basically commissioning other people to do art for you. Pay to win. Exactly. Can't do art yourself, but you have got some free free money to spend? Commission an artist. We'll do it for you. There you go, this is so relaxing. Good. I'm glad. It's pretty relaxing for me, honestly. Despite the fact that animation is surprisingly stressful, it's very fun. Milklin. Classic cell animation drawn on 24 frames per second. 15 frames generally acceptable in some cases. Rarely did animation go higher than that outside of very, very special cases. Yeah. I was told to do 24 frames per second, so I've, I've just been doing that. I think that's 12 drawings per second? You're doing it on twos? I think that makes sense. Animation is time-consuming, but fun? Yes, I agree. Especially if you're animating something you want to animate. Otherwise, you're just redrawing the same thing over and over, and you are not always looking forward to it, you know? Down. I think this one could go up sooner, actually. Control Z is my best friend. I got pancakes too. Nice. Got a, got, got a hand animated at 60 FPS. Pewish. Pewish to thought. No. I refuse. Hand animate 60 FPS? No. That would be way too much time. Hey, you just dropped your phone out of your face? Oh no. Gravity, why? Gravity, please be kind. What playlist are you using? This is just my lo-fi playlist. Uh, this one is called Music to Help You Comfortably Work and Study. It's just three hours of lo-fi. But a lot of my music is when I don't want to animate or draw something with a lot of high energy and I need to calm down. Because Monday, y'all saw what happened when I listened to my actual like hardcore work playlist. I just hyper-focus. <laughs> I went for almost five hours when I was not supposed to go for almost five hours. I was supposed to go for three and a half. Oh, why is it playing at two? Oh, I hit a hotkey. For some reason, me hitting spacebar while I was tabbed in made it play at twice speed. Interesting, but all right. McBowl of soup. Hey, Bobo. Thank you for the 100 shinies. Oh, welcome on back. Akira on 60 FPS? I don't think so. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. I will not look at that. That will make me motion sick. That will actually make me sick. I don't think I could stand to look at that. Like, some people... I remember... When I was a kid, I watched... Uh, I think it was the, the Hobbit in theaters? And... I heard that some people got sick during some of the dragon scenes. Understandable. Honestly, understandable. I get it. It was it was weird. It was strange to look at. I didn't like it. Hey, sure, Skull. That's very kind of you to say. Sounds like it was a hyperfixation if it was five hours. Yeah. Yep. Some days are just like that. Some some days you just really get in the mood to do a whole bunch of artwork. When I have my playlist going, that's very much what happens. It is not hard to focus when I have my mostly Spider-Verse and pop music. Let's huge this down a little bit, actually. There we go. No. Go with 
this back up, but the stem has to stay in a fairly consistent position, so up a little bit. Close, not quite. There we go. I mean, Spider-Verse? That would be cool. I don't know how it would work, but Spider-Verse is a very fun. I like it a lot. Do you have any recommendations for getting into D&D? It may take a couple tries. That's not really a recommendation, that's more of an advice thing. If you don't have friends that are already in D&D, and you can't join their campaigns, you can try joining ones at like your local game shop. But keep in mind, they may not have a similar playstyle to you. And be open about if you've never played D&D before. I remember I thought about doing a short animation to Flower Blooming in 60 FPS and actually doing it all by hand. That's hard to do. But I'm curious to see what it would look like. Every, oh yeah, that? That was part because they screwed up the upscaling for it. The motion was very blurred, which resulted in lots of motion sickness. Oh no. Oh. My school, we read The Hobbit the year came out and went on a field trip to see at the end of the semester. That sounds like fun. Sounds like a real fun time. Favorite sandwich? I like egg salad sandwiches. They're good. Can't have them too often, but they're delicious. First step, make friends? Very difficult. That is a, actually a challenge. Being adult friends is difficult. I'm going to look at the first frame and copy this. Put that there. Work. No, it didn't. Okay, that's all right. Could end on. I do this. Time this out. Five. That's what it looks like. Okay, sweet. Okay, cool. Neko's looking very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, if you want to try Baldur's Gate, at some point I'd like to try Baldur's Gate, but I got work to do. So, I don't want to take away from that. I have to be a little bit responsible. Well, Cal, thank you for the posture check. What's oh, violet cow? My bad. Hmm. Excuse me. Biggest problem is finding a good DM for D and D. A good DM can make a session joke for all, exactly, which can be very difficult. <laughs> can be one of those hovercraft goblins. She rides on a bee. <gasps> That'd be cute. You can stream Baldur's Gate and still work. And that's true. But but I know that if I start Baldur's Gate, I'm going to want to play it all the time. <laughs> it's one of those I'm holding off until I have a significant amount of work done. And then I'm free. A little bit of an overshoot. Are you gonna co-op some Baldur's Gate though? Maybe. I don't know. The the main issue with co-oping and stream is that we would all have to make sure our schedules line up. But offline co-op could be fun. Again, I am I don't know how to explain how busy I get behind the scenes. 
I'm constantly doing stuff. The streams are almost like a break from work, if, it, if that makes sense, despite it also being work. Hi, Starfleet. I'm doing okay. I'm relaxing. I'm getting a little hungry, so... Probably gonna stream for another... 30-ish minutes? And then call it an afternoon? That way I got I got time to take a little lunch break. Only had a friend who was at every stream. Oh. Or two. Ooh, that's true. Yeah, we're gonna over oop. Gonna overshoot this a little bit. I can feel my hunger building now. I'm like, oh no. Glad I ate pancakes, but now I'm hungrier. A little bit now. Here. I need 30 minutes is 1.5 hours in our time. Yeah. So this is, it's, dude, if I'm in a good art food, it just keeps going, you know? And it's okay. It's okay. Not, maybe I... Did this. It's over here. There we go. There we go. Now I can read it a little better. Got back from an Asian fusion buffet. I'm stuffed. Oh, that sounds so good. It sounds delicious. Hey, good boy. You new here. Nice to meet you. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a good Saturday. And he's working for all the streamers. She is be at the beck her beck and call. <laughs> she has the better beck and call. Doing so much work. I was so excited for y'all to see it. We're getting to the point where it's like the work. I've been working on it for several months. And we're getting close to the... You're gonna see a real big rush of a lot of work all at once. And then nothing for several months. And then all of a sudden a big rush. Because that's just how it goes. That's how it goes time-wise. Alright, cool boy. We're just making an animation right now. Looks like this. A little start and soon animation. Doing the flowers in the corner right now. They're going okay. Bum, bum. Hey girl, it's weird saying that it's lunch for you because it's half eight in the afternoon here. <laughs> yeah, it is twelve thirty for me right now. We're we're at the lunchtime zone. It's often better uh, thinking of animation in exposures. One second is one exposure per drawing. Two's, oh, two, ones is one exposure per drawing. Twos is two exposures each drawing. In each case, the animation would still be presented in the same frame rate with more or less exposures of the drawing. In this way, you can have drawings be exposed on ones, twos, threes, and fours, etc. in the same animated sequence. Yeah, everything is on fours for me. It's... It's easier for my brain to understand it if it's in fours. It's also a lot less drawn, so I'm saving time for myself. It's not as smooth and fluid as like an actual animation is, but it conveys the motion well enough. Hey, Witchy. Yeah, we're in a comfy blankie. I was a little sick yesterday, so we're taking it easy today, and I'm just feeling a lot better, thankfully. Bam, bam, bam. Wham, wham, wham. Okay, yeah, two frames. Gotcha. Gotcha.
overshoot me. Dark switch. I think forests have a relaxing vibe to them, so it totally fits. Yeah. It's nice. It's very good that fours work, because I'm like, that's less drawing for me. It saves me so much more time. Thank you, Vic. Mm -hmm. Barnuck, it's 3.30 for you. Well, it's a good thing we're wrapping up stream in like 30-ish minutes. Wah. You can get a smooth-looking animation on threes and fours if your spacing is great. Spencer Wan does some mind-boggling stuff on threes and fours. Ooh. That's the uh, Castlevania guy, right? I've seen some of his stuff. He does the intro? Pretty. Oh gosh, this jump. Nightbomb, thank you for the ear wiggles. So at least it bounds better than anything I could do, so it's still good work. Thanks. Don't compare yourself to others, though. Just because I can do a good doesn't mean you can't. Honey, ending early to take care of myself? Technically, I'm ending around the same time I usually do. I'm just holding myself to it this time. I guess I started a half hour late. Yeah, so it would be actually ending a, a little earlier than usual. Hmm. One more frame in between. Here. Yeah, he did some stuff on Across the Spider-Verse recently. Oh, okay, nice. 3.5 hours with the regular stream window? Yeah, 3.5 hours is about right. Some streamers have insane endurance. They can go so long. I get hungry. I get hungry, and I get a little eepy after a little bit. A force is a four exposures of a drawing before the next drawing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, four frames, kind of. Four exposures. That leaf pops a little too. Uh, now it doesn't move enough. <laughs> Little does Honey realize her streams are in 30 FPS, not 24, so her animation methods won't expose evenly anyways. I completely forgot to factor that in. It should be fine though, right? It should be fine. I hope. Dang it. I'm not meaning to lecture you, Chad. I get real excited when Chad about anything. No worries. I like animating. Animation's pretty cool. I'm a big fan. As I would say most VTubers probably are. Mm -hmm. I have an idea. Now that you have music on stream but not in the VOD working, why not do a little art challenge? Have people post a music playlist and you select one to do art to? Maybe. That could be pretty fun. It could be a little difficult though, because I'd want to make sure that the, the music is PG. Just in case someone stumbles upon this and plays it out loud in front of their mom. But you had the voice of an angel? Oh, thank you. That's a kind thing to say to someone. 
She usually sings just not this time because she's like, yeah, usually I have a song redeem. So I sing like three times a stream. But because I'm a little sick, I turned it off for now so I can rest. Making me sleepy with your soothing voice? I can't help it. That's just my voice. This is just my talking voice. It's a wonder I don't put my friends to sleep when I jump in a voice chat with them. <laughs> yeah, the frame rate ratio doesn't even matter besides you would also have to factor in the frame rate of a human eye. True. So if I played this as a starting soon screen, hopefully it would still be alright. Go to that frame. We're gonna leave this here. <laughs> I'm trying to stay awake. Human eye has no frame rate. Isn't there like a like an ideal frame rate? Isn't it 24 frames where it's like that's the magic number for animation to work? Looks smooth to me, especially the eye blinking. Thanks! Yeah. I'm used to animating characters a bit more, because I've done that for my starting soon screen. But Plants is a new one. Plants is an entirely new thing. Human eye is linear, constant exposure. That's why we perceive motion blur when stuff moves fast. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm attempting to draw an OC of mine. I'm not anywhere near experienced enough on IBS paint. Or I IBIS paint. I keep saying IBS paint. IBIS paint. To know what the best way to do things are. And I'm trying to move forward anyways. I'll try to have fun drawing an original character. That's what I'm cooking around in my brain. Olivia will be drawn, regardless how the drawings turn out. Yeah! You take it easy and draw something that makes you happy. Excellent. Those notes remind me of Zelda. Is somebody may I suggest a target raid for today? You may, no guarantees, because I do want to make sure that I that I know them and I'm not sending y'all to the wild west of Twitch, you know? Mm -hmm. IBS means oh, IBS does mean something else. I do know that. The character reminds me of Stealth Elf from Skylanders and Barbara from Raymond. I don't think I know either of those those shows. Fishki suffering through second Dark Souls. <laughs> Ooh, a Dark Souls read. We shall see. Ooh, I didn't- nope, I didn't miss a frame. It's fine. Did not miss a frame. We're good. Stealth Elf. What is a Stealth Elf? Phil, thank you for the breathe and hydrate. Oh, they're games. Oh, okay. I might be out of water. Well, I'll just have to get my other water bottle out. Waterless. Hydration. Without something to sip. Frame here. We're just copying this frame.
That was cute. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Yaya. I'm glad you like the mom. When you pulling out your gamer subs waifu cup? <laughs> I think you gotta be a gamer subs partner for a while before you get a waifu cup. I don't think I know. I, think I know very many people who have a waifu cup. I know Cinder has one. Silverville got one. Mary got one. Yeah. Look, doesn't look too bad. I love flowers. Oh, I love them so much. Bill, oh, thank you for the Risa. Happy 26 months. Welcome on back. Junie got one, so you're close. Junie. Juniper? The, the moth mom? I say moth mom. I meant to say moth VTuber. <laughs> I've always loved getting into tune into your chill art streams. Ooh, I'm glad you're enjoying them. And JJ Swift, thank you for the Risa. Happy seven months. Welcome on back. Seven months already? I know. Wild, right? Moth Mom works. I don't know if that's exactly how she'd like to present herself. I, so I, I'm not going to I'm not going to continue with that. Top isn't about how long you've been partnered, just how much you've made them. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I didn't know that. You'd accept Moth Mom, probably? I haven't asked. Oh, dang it. McBo, thank you for the three gifted subs. <laughs> that is a lot. You've already given so much. It was your birthday yesterday. It was your birthday yesterday, McBo. You've already given so much. Don't worry about it. We're just gonna take it easy. We're gonna relax here, yeah? We're gonna take it easy. Take it easy. All right, I gotta do the leaves here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's an art installation in my state where they have bought Monet paintings to life via sculpture. It's wonderful to see the flowers cultivated there. Ooh. And I love how flowers are painted. So pretty. I've been definitely an amazing artist. Thank you. Bum, bum. Oh, but what are the chat rules? Uh, they are down in the about section, I believe. I gotta update them a little bit. The gist of it is just be respectful. Uh, no discrimination. No links. Uh, basic TOS stuff. And try to keep things fairly relaxed. Lady Ezra, thank you for the sub with Prime. Welcome on into the tavern. I hope you're doing well. Bam, bam. Rules give money to honey. Dingus, no. Dingus, no. Rules only spend money that is, that is not your rent money or grocery money or savings money. Pocket change. Pocket change. Maybe even then, spend it on yourself, actually. Dingus, thank you for the gift sub. Hi, Neko. Gotta follow the rules. Follow the rules. But yeah, for the most part, we keep things very PG. My family knows where I work. <laughs> Some of my cousins lurk in my streams, and I'm just like, ooh. <clears throat> Well then, I gotta be careful what you hear. <laughs> Dang it, Pestle, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you very, very much. When it's been too long since I've seen honey? Ah, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Just means you're out there living your life, doing fun stuff. Carl, it's not my sleep deprived and dyslexic as reading the usernames is horny goblet fair. Sometimes I misread my own username. It happened. Put this frame fairly close. Mm 
Surprise me. Narvitz, thank you for the 5,000 shinies. I found this change in my couch. Thank you for being here. I am glad you enjoy hanging out here. And I'm glad you enjoy me being a silly little guy online. <laughs> me being me. Thank you. That is a lot. I appreciate it. As long as it's like couch change. Fine. The honey must say cute things. Wait, you already do it. Promises, no. Get, quit making promises that I gotta keep. <laughs> it just gotta go. Gotta go down a little bit more. Get the overshoot. It's already a level six hype train. What? <laughs> this happened very fast. What the heck? Read the rules now, I won't make the same mistake like last time. That's okay, no worries. Thank you for reading the rules, though. All right, now it'll always, it'll always throw me off with how understanding, chill, and kind you are, honey. It's rare, but a much appreciated sight. Yeah. <laughs> it's strange, I cannot imagine another way to be, because... It's... Hmm. Yeah. I wonder why I wouldn't be understanding. Like... Life's hard, and I don't know everyone's story. What's there to be upset about? We're here for a good time. Just resting. Taking a break, because you need breaks. The world's rough. So that's what art is for, for me. Some people are just chill? Yeah, some people are just chill and relaxed. Nice. If I'm not your cup of tea? Oh, there's plenty of more content creators that... I'm sure you'll find one to fill the niche. If not, you could be your own <laughs> comfort streamer. You know, make content that you're proud of. Oh gosh, where's... Oh, it's way up there. Okay. Oh, that's quite the jump. That is quite the jump, actually. We're gonna fix that. I like the little... Twinkly wind chime sounds in the background there. They're real nice. Polar Bear J, thank you for the resub. Happy two months. Welcome all back. Recommendation for everyone. Keep some pocket change in your shoes. It could save your life. Couple quarters. Could be good to have. Better to have it than not need it than to need it and not have it. Can we be dis discomfort streamers? Be wretched, toxic streamers. Yeah. If that is what your heart desires, go on ahead. But be warned, that can be very taxing. <laughs> Hi, Kruger. Thank you for the shinies. How are things? Things are going all right. I'm taking it easy. Just animating right now. Vibing. Gonna relax for a bit and then get some lunch. <laughs> Scoopy Scoops, thank you for the resub. Happy seven months. Welcome on back. Honk, honk. Wah, wah. <laughs> also, game like it. Thank you for wasting your gold. That is going under my couch. For me to just sit on. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <sighs> Bro, Neko, someone on Discord asked about your current demon barkeep designs concept inspiration. I said I remember it's her angel devil phase. Yep. That is quite accurate. Every artist goes through an angel devil phase. I'm just going through my second angels and devils phase. Everyone goes through one when they first start. And it keeps going. Hey, Aqua Cartes. I hope you're doing well. The stream was my first ever stream. Thank you so, so much. No worries, crochet girl. I hope your crocheting project turned out good. Or you got some good progress on it. I like seeing crochet. You do so many cool things. I remember when I was a kid. One of my cousins had an exchange student staying with them. And she was so nice. She made me a little, a little bear that was crocheted. So cute. I love that bear. 
I don't know where it went, but I have very fond memories of it because it was purple. Are you team angel or devil? <laughs> hmm. Take a wild guess. Which one do you think? Which one do you think? If anything, I can go further. Let's see. That D my bundle. Yeah, red eyes. I mean, could also do this. Go even further. Beyond. But one of the models that is to come is an angel model, so you can look forward to that fairly soon. And by fairly soon, I mean a couple months. It's done drawing, but it's not done being rigged, so working on it. <laughs> Horns hold up the halo. <laughs> That's where they be. That's where they should be. Thank you all for the level six hype train. Thank you very, very much. That is a lot. Y'all did not need to be that generous. I do genuinely appreciate it. Make sure your needs are met first. <laughs> Spend money on yourselves first. Wah. Honey, if you do a Baldur's Gate playthrough, can we make a $5 redeem to make you e be evil? Make the most mean choice? Oh no, I'm not good at being I don't want to be mean. I don't want to be mean to people. <laughs> that feels bad. What if, what if they're really cool? What if they're cool and they, they, they're just trying to help out? And if chat wants to make me evil, how will I cope? I don't know if that's going to be good. <laughs> that pops way too much. There we go, that looks a bit better. Love Honey's design, love Honey's design. Thank you, Sig. For a sip. They're 100% on Team Angel. Can I just be a little evil? Can I be a little evil? As a treat? Little, little, small acts of evil. Like, like overfilling your 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 beer glass that way it spills a little bit aha how about that and if you're being passive to evil paid to be evil you aren't being evil the spirit of possessing you that's all chat is but that's like isn't that being possessed by the spirit of capitalism which is a little evil a little bit evil maybe a lot of evil <laughs> and you can't even do an angry phase and you want to be evil I can do an angry face. I can do an angry face. One sec. Let me, let me, let me. See? I could be angry. See? Takes a little focus, but I could be angry. <laughs> Having followed you for a little three years. No, you can't be. Oh. Okay, then. All right. <laughs> Pestle, thank you for the hundred shinies. Honey, if you wish to be evil, all you need to do is this. And mention you lost the game. How you lost the game. How I lose the game. You think about it, right? That's how you play the game. Angry Goblin's still cute. It takes so much focus to be angry. <laughs> Why does it take so much focus to be angry? Ah. <sighs> It's pretty evil. <laughs> Pestle helped me be a little evil. Little evil. Got him. Got him. Yes, you be evil and that make us lose the game. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not evil, you're just mischievous. You know what? I'll take that. I'll be mischievous. Or mischievous. How do you pronounce it? Mischievous or mischievous? I've heard it both ways. Hey, Bomb, thanks for the posture check. What? Oh, excuse me. 
takes a lot of energy to be angry. I can't even be bothered. Yeah, sometimes it takes it takes a lot out of you to get angry. I don't feel like being angry. I think whenever I get angry, I get sleepy. My brain just wants to sleep it off. Play Dark Souls problem solved? I love Dark Souls. I love Dark Souls a lot. I, I don't usually get very angry at it just because it's so much fun. That might just be me though. I'm a bit of an outlier that way. Honey, is chaotic good with emphasis on chaotic? Not wrong with being a little chaotic. It's okay. It's alright. There's nothing wrong with that. Flower. Now a little bit back. I'm getting hungry. Maybe I'll have some soup and sandwiches. Two years and one month since my life got better. You've been here for a while, Neko. I'm glad your life's been getting better then. Unless it's Dark Souls 2. Okay, Dark Souls 2 is the one where I'm like, mm 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 yeah, I don't really get angry at Dark Souls, or in general, really. Just annoyed or tired. Fair. Fair. If Ori will make a return, like Ori and the Will of the Wisps, I know that's a song or song, a uh, game. I've heard it. I've looked at it and it looks beautiful, and I've heard its soundtrack is really good. I just haven't played it though. Two frames. Okay. Mm There we go. Pretty close. All right, let's see what this looks like. It's so soft. It looks so soft. Ah. So I just dislike the story of the sequel. That's all I'll say. There, I, I'm not a fan of its gameplay. And honestly, not a huge fan of how how it feels. It feels heavy and chunky to play. In Dark Souls 2, they've got boss weapons. Don't all the Dark Souls games have boss weapons, though? I don't think that's exclusive to Dark Souls 2. Unless that's the point. That's the point. After you're looking devilish today. Oh, thank you. Uh. Honey, drunk Dark Souls 2 marathon when, though? Legit, it's coming up real soon. Real soon. And it's not a marathon. It's a 10-hour stream. It's 10 hours of me taking sips while I play Dark Souls 2, my least favorite game. It's gonna be frustrating. It's gonna be so frustrating. I do not like that game. I do not like that game. Not great. Local Dragon Geek, I just found your channel. I already love it. Thank you. Glad you like it. Check out the animation. Check it out. Not completely done, but a good chunk of it's pretty good. Ten hours is more than I could do right now. It's so much. I'm gonna have to really mentally prepare myself for it and prep meals and stuff. I'm not excited. <laughs> but I said I would give it another shot. So we're gonna try it again. And for that to be your least favorite, you have to have been spared many terrible games. Yes. True. 
But still. Do you remember Garfield Kart? I never played Garfield Kart. It was just not my thing. What's the hardest game you've ever played? Cuphead. Probably Cuphead. Like, I've gotten to the second island and I'm already like, I think I'm good. I think I'm good, actually. <laughs> I think I'm alright. Oh, Isego, it's looking beautiful and finish is gonna be so amazing. I'm sure thanks, Isego! I'm so excited! It's it's getting real close. I just have one more flower to do on that side, and then the other side of flowers, which is here. Quick. Yeah, this is the rough background. There's flowers on this side, and then we get to clean it up and color it. And then it's good. Would you consider playing Rain World if you knew what it is what that is? I think I know of Rain World. It's a 2D platformer, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if I'll play it. I'm just... 2D platformers are alright. They're not bad. The art style's gotta be real good for it, though, for me. My, my brain just attached to the art style, which is why, why I like Hollow Knight and one hand clapping. Why don't you make the starting soon move slightly? I think if I have it moving, it will draw too much attention away from the, the centerpiece, which is me. Is there, plus, it's already so much work to make it animated, you know? Might be a little too much. Um, I assume that 10 hour D Dark Souls 2 would be on a Saturday? Yep, it would be on a Saturday. Bit of a longer stream. <sighs> Fine. But, not excited. Let's have both things coming along so nicely. Thanks! Yeah, I think we're at a point where I can say, like, this is good. I need a lunch break. I need to get something to eat. Parts of the platform are heavy, but not at all. The art is very nice, though, in my opinion. Thank you. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, wait, you're already complimenting me. You're saying the art of the game was good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Because I've seen some art of Rain World. Not a whole bunch of it, though. I've seen maybe a little bit of gameplay. So maybe that's why I don't have a huge, a good grasp on it. Ba -ba -ba. Hi, Dud Kid. How's it going? You need some chili dog? <gasps> chili. Came across you and I was opening up my art program. Nice! You came around when I'm wrapping up. I'm wrapping up stream right about now. Just because I'm getting hungry, getting a little tired. So we're going to take it easy. Uh, oh, thank you for the head bats. Thank you very, very much. Definitely up your alley of masochism games, though. Is it now? Hmm. Let me look it up real quick. Make sure I didn't miss any redeems. Neko, thank you for the hydrate. Uh, one sec. Gotta grab my water bottle. Let me, let me look up Rain World real quick while I'm here. Oh, cricket my neck. Rain World. Oh, yeah. Okay, yes, this is the one I'm thinking of. It's very. It's very cute, but it also looks very ruthless. It's pixely, too. I think it's pixel art anyways. I played many pixel art games. I'll never regret making people hungry. Yeah. It's good. It's a reminder to eat. My redeems broke? That's okay. The redeems are sometimes timed out so that I'm not constantly doing them. Yeah, Rain World is it's the one with the uh, little white blob bunny cat looking thing. Very pretty. Colors are really nice too. Is is it a bunny or a cat? Played in co-op with my friend. It is pain. Oh, interesting. All right, that is curious. Pain. Okay, okay. I'm just looking at the art right now. It looks very cute. It is pixel art though. Huh. You know, it occurs to me I haven't played a whole bunch of pixel art games. Oh, it's a little slug cat. Cat slug. 
slug cat. I'm just vibing right now. Ooh. <laughs> yep, hunger's definitely getting to me. Oh boy. What was that? Oh, I know what that was. <laughs> ah. Dog cat. Why did I think you said Doja Cat for a second there? Hold on, how about a playing start to check guy on my list of co-op games? There's so many co-op games. Oh, so many games. So little time. No. Rainbow does have a four-person co-op? Hey, that's a lot of people. Whoa. A little stretch before we head out. I wonder why some people don't like Genshin Impact. It's not their style. Not every game is going to appeal to everyone. Hi, kid. Thank you. Glad you like my art. I mean this with the utmost love and respect. Go and nourish thyself. All right, all right. Let's go visit. Oh, here's a cute game. Actually, yeah, I'm thinking of, of like comfy vibes right now. And this person is great with comfy vibes. Let's go say hi. Let's see. Hmm. What's a good raid message? We're gonna raid Honey Gobble. We're gonna raid me? Me? But I gotta eat. I'm not gonna be streaming in like five-ish minutes. I will eat, sorry, yep. <laughs> it's not my birthday! We're gonna, we're gonna go visit, uh, cause Girl DM's actually playing a really cute game. And her streams are always real comfy, and I, I like watching them while I eat, because she's she's very funny. So let's go... <gasps> let's do pancakes. 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 Bam, 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 bam. She's playing Played Up right now, it's a collab. So I think she's playing with... Uh... Koki, Elian, and Sierna. I haven't watched them before, but it looks like it's a real fun co-op game. It'll be nice. It'll be nice to go there and just vibe. I like to listen to streams in the background while I eat because it distracts me from not eating, <laughs> weirdly enough. Overstimulating my brain so that I can actually eat. It'll be fun. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited for this art to be done. Enjoy your birthday. It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday. My birthday's in April. It's already happened. Well, I don't do my best. Good. Your best is good. Ooh. Ooh. Mugbowl, however, before we leave, thanks again for honey. No worries. Happy belated birthday, Mugbowl. <laughs> Mugbowl. <laughs> Look at distraction. Where? I'm way too easily distracted, y'all. Happy birthday in Florida! Is it? <laughs> Goodbye, honey. Happy year 3000. Happy 3000! I'll see y'all on Monday. I'm streaming at 6 p.m. PGT. The schedule is down below. We're gonna be doing more of this. I might work on it a bit today. But y'all have fun. Be good. Eat good. We'll see you soon. There's a flying cat? No. No, there isn't. <laughs> I'll see y'all soon. Bye!